Alright, uh, can you invite me to party or are you already in the party? I'm... Or what? I'm kind of fighting. Oh, okay. Or what? I'm kind of... Uh, you don't need to be in party, I guess. I'm kind of fighting. Oh, okay. Because the support skills just work. Mm hmm. Yeah, but then I don't know where you are. Marshlands. You won't be able to know where I am no matter what, because it's just a massive zerg of mobs as well. That's what you think. Wait, do I need to take a quest before I go? Or what? No, I just ran out and started hitting people. Okay, but you said this for a quest, right? Uh... Yeah. Didn't you? I said maybe there's a quest. Oh. Well, then you're basically in the exact same situation I was in yesterday. Because I was there yesterday, and I was, and I had like zero idea what is even going on. Like, I, I could not figure out why people were even PvP. I, like, I assumed maybe you score points by killing the mobs, which is why people actually cared about killing the mobs. But I didn't see anything. As far as I can tell, that was actually worth going there for. Oh, hey, we're actually going to see someone die. And that's why I just left that place yesterday as well. I guess we're winning now. See, alert stage one, support soldiers. The Ontario realm that yeah, was pushed sure. back by the enemy has strengthened this alert stage. Alert stage one, support soldiers will be dispatched. That's what I don't get. Like uh, the mobs help your faction apparently. But but why? Is this for balance reasons or is there like actual I guess it is just for balance reasons, because they there is some form of split damage. Mm. You know, I'm not really a fan of that explanation. Like I feel like if you kill the mobs, maybe you get something out of it. I've never s <sighs> it's actually so hard to kill the mobs. Yeah, but like, okay, well, I level it up, is. though. It is as well. That's what, but I, that's what I feel like, though. Like I feel like there should be some reason to kill the mobs, right? Other than then, just being on. I guess games. you do get ex. You do get exp, though. A lot of exp, though. Any significant? Oh, what the fuck? And and there's towers too. Seriously. These towers range are huge. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, like, I don't think, uh, the mobs should just be Anusians. Like, there, there has to be a reason for the mobs. And it can't just be for EXP, because it's not even that great of EXP, is it? I just got 20% here. Hmm, that's not great. Like... I was thinking maybe if you will get a level doing that, then maybe it will be worth it. But as yeah, is, not so much. Is there no? Is there any reason I shouldn't just? What the heck? I can't even target this guy because of mobs. Yeah, that's another problem. Okay, let me defense. invite you. Let me look for the friend list. Where even is the friend list? Hmm. What the fuck? Where the hell is the friend list? Oh, there it is. There's no key. Damn, this guy is just not dying. 
What if I T him? Oh shit, that actually does damage. My only hope is to build up my ulti. <laughs> Him. Fuck! I I can't kill him without ulti, even. Damn! What am I doing wrong? I feel like I'm missing something. Alright, I see you. Wait, why is this guy over here? Wait, what is this? Wait, what is this? The fuck? What is going on? Why is he immune to damage? There are skills that will make you immune to damage. No, I have he, one he's AFK. Point. He's literally AFK and he's just immune to damage. What's going on? Maybe the AFK state gives you immunity to damage. What? That's so stupid though. I'm just postulating. <laughs> but it will be so stupid if that's true. I guess whenever you're losing, literally the AFK strats just go AFK in mid combat and win the fight. I'm actually yeah, see, starting to take damage now. That's what, that's what I don't get about these mobs. Like, why are they here? Pretty sure it's literally a balance mechanic, I guess. But we, we don't need them, we just need PvP. Also, I wonder if it's meta for Assassin to spec the range build in these situations. I would just spec the range build if I were you. Well, I don't have a range build for one. But assuming if I, if, like, if in theory I did, you know, I wonder if it would be meta. I'm obviously not gonna do it, of course. But I just play objectively better when I play melee. Okay, this guy doesn't have gear because the moment I pulled him in, he just died. Okay. Nice. But I, I wonder though. Actually, I forgot what I was gonna say. Right, like, I wonder what, what are we getting out of this? I don't see any points going up. I guess I'm getting yes, I'm getting like 100 exp, which is. An insignificant amount. And also, probably part of the reason why it's so hard to kill people is because everyone has the CC immunity. They can do every 15 seconds. Like on, P on PWI, like AD Faith is like on one minute, three minute cooldown, but this is like 15 second cooldown. Give me a second, I'm gonna spec another heal. Damn, you can't do that mid combat. What the heck is that? 
<laughs> my phone. <laughs> nice. Also, where does it go to spec a heal? Teleport all the way back to base? Respect the heal or what happened? Also, this isn't even really good grinding. I don't I don't I think we we'd be getting more more EXP like just grinding actual mobs of these guys. I don't know what I'm doing here. Like this form of PvP I don't really get. I feel like he's just playing range in these situations. You can't use skills. Oh, where did you even go? Did you die again? Where did you go? Okay, I guess not saying anything. Anyways. Just whoever happens to be there. But there isn't one. Okay, well, I guess I'm running back. There's no one here. No, there's a couple of randos here. I don't think you can kill anyone unless you're just willing to full commit. But how can you commit when, the, when there's mobs everywhere? Like if you don't commit, they're just gonna keep pulling back the mobs.
Like, even if people get out of position, they can so easily just, uh, escape. Uh, you need to have... S people need to, um, CC for you. You have to, like, very... have very long CC chains. It's not even that. You can't re-CC someone when they are immune or, or recovering. You can't follow up on an immune recovery chain. Unless you, like, just dive in. Like, that's the only way. You have to just dive in. You have to commit to the to the attack. To be like that guy and commit. Then I think he also I think he has to set up that field because he's the thing. But then he can get away after the first CC. See, like you're not gonna you're not gonna catch him. <laughs> you're not gonna, like, you're just not gonna catch him. Well, this guy... I'm just, I'm just gonna chase him, through. see what happens. Where did you even chase to? Okay, and, and, I and I just typed him off. And I just typed him off. So... I, 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 just, I, just I mean, you're not gonna die because you have. I'm here. All right, but like I couldn't yeah, have killed well, him I, because I, of mobs. That's all right. Oh, turn back to where the team is. It's over here by this giant cluster of mobs, I assume. Here, where all I right. am. Yeah, but that's why I don't get like if he breaks out of stank and just evade. And unless you full commit yeah, to chasing him. After his evasion is No, after he evaded. evades it's, there's a crowd control immunity. Yeah, you have to wait for the crowd control immunity it's, to also it's end. For five seconds. And during that time he can just run back to mobs. Pretty much, yeah. So how are you supposed to do anything? Um same as PW where you just you just focus someone down. Well, on PW, the mobs are not a threat. Maybe the damage becomes better later on. And also on PW, after they do it once, they're not able to do it again for another whole three minutes. So unless they're willing to like just run away for three minutes, it's essentially rendering them a non-factor. It's not even an issue. But here, they can do it every 15 seconds. I guess this game has the exact opposite problem uh, BDO has. Kill time's too long. Well, it's not even just kill time's too long. It's just like, how do you... Hey, like, where what, are you? what even is the play? I guess you should have called for help. I didn't realize. Well, I, I don't really see a point in calling for help. Because the team all ran away anyways, so what's the point? There's no team anymore, though. I think they left. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. They, they, all, they all ran away. Oh, no. They were, they're back here. I guess I spawn. Yeah, so these, so this is like their side. So the mobs are all theirs, as far as I'm aware. Yes, they, these are their mobs. So we don't, we don't even have mobs that we can like abuse.
I guess let's focus on this guy. If if we even can. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, I, I have a leash skill. Oh, it looks like, it looks like we got him. Yes, so I, I put on a skill that lets you lets me pull several targets to, to me. So it is a CC ability. That's how I also have a range role. stun. But it seems like the only way we kill is if like we outnumber them. Oh, and, and then we're in their like powers now, so... Yeah, you're not supposed to have an easy tower dive, I guess. Well, actually, those towers are immortals. I don't think you can even dive them. And they CC you upon hits. Oh, no, tower diving just means jump running into the tower in general. Well, I think tower diving means the towers can actually be killed. And that it doesn't CC you, like on League of Legends. If you're if you're trying to dive in mortal towers that CC you upon hit, that's more like suicide than <laughs> tower diving. It's like diving guards. That's like inting. That's what it's called. I feel like I'm lagging. Why am I farming? I'm not farming, I Chase. I'm... The chase said I was farming, but I'm not farming. This is PvP in in quotes. Now here they all number us. So what do we do here? Well, oh, not no damage to kill that guy. I just took 1.7k damage. How is that possible? Where are the players? The people who have red names are the players. I'm taking 1.7k damage and I'm only doing 300s. Basically, you see the ones with the deep red name, not the light red name but the deep red names are the slayers. oh i was able to get someone killed by baiting him into team but that still requires several people to like it was is that guy a player Yeah, you think the game has too low damage, Chase? Uh, I agree, the damage is pretty low. I don't really see too much of a point in open world PvP right now, to be honest.
I don't I don't really know what, what this is about. But then again, I'm also taking a lot of damage, so maybe I'm just doing something wrong. And not dealing and not outputting damage correctly. The um the ranger assassin just seal seems better. Wait, how did I just I don't even know what hit me. No, this does seem pretty scuffed. I'm just not doing like I don't know. They're able to do like 1.7k on me somehow, but I don't know how to do that. I'm okay, let's do something else then, because this is not really that interesting. All right. So, what do you want to do? Don't know, but I will save this as a different preset. What else are there? What other PvP do we have that we should look at? So that's open world. We have what else? We have arena, we already saw that. I guess 30% of my HP is just shielding. Uh battlefield is closed. Wait, yeah, why are, why, why, why are they Pretty sure that's actually siege? No, it's not siege. It's like different uh, modes of 3v3. Like one of the mode is like you have to farm mobs and PvP at the same time, kind of deal. And then like, Castle of Demons, this one looks like a free-for-all. Prove your worth and become the last one standing. I think it's just different PvP modes, but I don't know why they're time limited. Like, you can only queue into Arena for some reason. Why is that? Hmm... I'm TPing back to the main city, by the way. How do you TP? Oh, you just click on the warp stone. It spins gold. Wait, what? Warp stone? Oh, um, I, I, I can't do it. It says it will become a level once the darkness has been removed. I have no idea. I'm, I don't recall specifically unlocking the function. Wait, which thing are you talking about? Are you talking about the one at, um... Su I went to some maze foothold. Wait, what even is this called? Oh shit, that's not even the right one. This is the city. Oh, but it costs... It's so expensive, though. Is it even worth spending 2.2k 2, 2 cases to teleport there? I mean, last time we were at the uh, Blue Girl Coast and Blood Cross Glutch, and there weren't really any guards there. I think those. This is like a specific P 
PvP with guards mode. So what if we go to the other zone? Like I have 108 honor points, I guess. Where did you see that? Bottom left corner. I have a 106. How did you how do you even get honor points? I'm guessing not from battle arena. I think killing the official opposing faction in um open world. Oh yeah, you actually get rewards. You get get medal of honor from doing 2v2 and 2v and 3v3, but not 1v1. Very interesting. Why is there nothing for doing 1v1s? That's kind of a weird decision making. But I don't think there's really anyone at the uh, Blue Girl Coast anymore. Like everyone has been leveled past this. Yeah, there's no one here anymore. So this was just like day one PvP and then everyone just has no reason to come back here. Makes sense. What about the bosses? The bosses seem to... Well, the bosses seem to all be uh, one one faction. Well, can we do the bosses? Uh, look at world chat, uh, see who gets... Who potentially has spawned a breath, because you have to have a breath to um to use the boss, to do the boss. Wait, what do you mean you have to have a breath? What's a breath? It's an item that drops from mobs nearby the boss and it enables you to uh actually do it. Hmm. Because the boss is not able to be attacked. I mean, actually, I don't even see the boss to begin with. Uh, it may not have spawned. Wait, how do you know if it's spawned or not? If it spawns, it will be there, but it's not attackable. What? Until someone uses the breath on the steel. What? That's so convoluted. How do you get a breath? You kill mobs nearby it until it spawns. Oh wait, never mind. Here is the boss. It look, it's not even moving. That's why I couldn't see it. Yeah, it's a statue until you um. It's just immune. Yeah, why? Why is that? So you're just supposed to grind the mobs here. Grind the mobs until something drops. Or just wait in world chat and leech someone else's breath. Why wait in world chat? What? Are they gonna world chat it or something? What? Are they gonna world chat it? Like, are they gonna. Yeah. Is it gonna do an announcement when the boss wants? No, they're, they're going. People generally will say in world chat, I have. It's, it's a boss name channel. I mean, I guess that kind of is, like prevents people from just camping the boss like at respawn time. But like, what if, what if you don't you want to grind? Oh. Like, what if you just want to do dungeons and bosses? You know, then you just can't do it. I can't do dungeons. To grind. I'm out of. I want to do Beast Slayer, but oh yeah, and, I don't have and any the, words anymore. And the daily dungeon limit is kind of scuffed too. So like, after you do your daily dungeons, what else can you do? Grind. PvP. But like, where's the, what's the PvP even about though? Like, we're just it's just the uh, no damage and the mobs everywhere. All right, so I have a quest here. You, reached your destination. you can also life skill. I don't think there's really any life skill in this game, as far as I'm aware. 
He swaps arrow range as long. That is a constant for the entire game. Why is this seed lead is so tanky too? Yeah, see, it's just killing the elite gets me 2.8k EXP, whereas killing all of those mobs earlier was only giving me like 100s to 600s. Oh, so I do need the skill actually to kill this uh, instant mob right here. You got a skill attribute or you need a skill attribute? I get a skill attribute. Yeah, their their skill attributes are basically skill points. But I can't kill him. Because he's a statue. Yeah, um, but uh you you need the breath to um I like how every time I attack him he, his color comes in <laughs> and he immediately changes into a statue. But then how would I do it? Do I have to just kill the mobs here until it drops? Yeah. What's the drop rate? Very low. What? So I can't even do this quest. I suppose. So what else can we do then? I'm assuming there's no PvP back there, right? There's only PvP during the boundary. I guess I'll go check out the story quest. <clears throat> what the fuck? Generally, you just do story quest. The auto pass does auto pass me into an attack. I guess this auto pathing isn't really smart. Does any game even have smart auto pathing though? Um, the. I think that's why on BDL with auto path, I always auto path you along the road. In the ocean, it, there's actually just roads on under the sea. Well, I think they fucked up with the ocean. I don't think BDO even was meant to have ocean. Like, there's zero content in the ocean. And it's decent yeah. as fuck. Wait, what? Yeah, no, BDO ocean content is just um, AFK. You're going, AF you're going AFK? No, I said BDO ocean content is AFK. Oh, auto okay, okay. Hmm. Or request. Mobs are super tanky now. Yeah, why are these mobs so tanky now? Genji is enraged and can't be CC'd. Seems but, to me. That guy is tanky as fuck. How oh, is that normal? Are we supposed to kill them when they're so tanky? Ah, uh, slowly. And that kind of defeats the purpose of playing the game, doesn't it? Some mobs are meant to be slowly killed. 
Look at our uh, realm chat. Oh, I saw it. Said, Shornigan's Breath, Channel 2. I guess this is supposed to kill Moss one at a time. I don't I don't really have chats enabled. Can't even kill them one at a time. Every time you kill one, that throws like four. And this one burns away. That's because it's a range mob. Remember range mobs on PWI? <laughs> Yeah, but how are we supposed to cut them one at a time? Oh my god. I'm actually losing all my HP killing this killing these mobs. Oh, but that's such a such a huge spike in difficulty, though. What level is it? Just the story quest. Oh, there's a twenty percent repair fee for wandering merchants. This is the second time I've actually completely fucked my presets by accidentally clicking save or rather than load. Maybe the button should look some more, more dissimilar. Indeed. Bro, I only got 100 EXP for that, and I lost like 90k. Don't be late. That wasn't really worth it at all. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you.
I'm still really kind of running out of things to do. And it's only been day two. What's the dimensional portal? Do you, have you figured out what the dimensional portal is yet? Um, it is... Do you see it? Yes. It's timed content. Like, what is it about? I don't okay, know. Like you get moment, you get legendary stuff, I guess. Yes. Oh, like what is it? PVE? Is I there is there any PVE. PVP involved? No, I think pretty sure it's PVE. Then why is it timed content? Well, it's a timed dungeon kind of thing. Then I'm gonna go back to doing um. Main story. Wasn't there supposed to be like some sort of large scale PvP in this game? Yeah. And where is it? Realm War. But what is that? Like, I, I haven't figured out how to do that Once yet. every seven days, you can participate. Well, first round is Saturday for 40 minutes at 6 p.m. It's basically, it's Siege. So is there a round war today? Yes, there should be. What time zone is this? Okay, that should be a Can you come see me for a second? Um, it is 16. If you look at the top right corner, it's 16.02. <clears throat> so Realm War is okay. in four hours. No, two hours. Two hours. But there wasn't one yesterday, though. Uh, even though it said there was one on Friday. Maybe we just weren't there. Oh, wait. This quest gave me a give me, uh, chance. It's actually worth it, then. Reclaimed land. That's that full blue pants. Or full blue gear now. Finally off to visit your own home. I think well, see you. Well I guess in theory it's still worth it to do the dungeon ones just for the set bonus. But does the set bonus even matter that much? It might be too hard to get the set bonus. That's what I said yesterday. Well, that's what I think as well. But Dante disagrees. I'm not going to stress too hard about it. The top left. I guess teleporting to the house. Oh, you haven't done that yet, then. Wait, what the fuck? I'm just it's on the common house. It's a very similar housing that to a PWI. I mean, this is pretty peaceful, at least. Welcome. But why do we even need a house? Crafting, life skill stuff. Oh, I don't think we really need that. Are you curious about other adventurers' houses? Check the top left corner of the screen, and you'll fly visit someone else's house because something good could happen. What? If you visit another person's house, you can help with their production? Please remember. Co-op PVE. Well, I can't even visit people's houses right now. I guess I can visit your house. When you I suppose. House, you can utilize the house's storage. It's not like I did anything at the house. Upgrade the storage up to six times, and the storage 
space will be certain items cannot be stored in storage. So I guess here's your bank. You can gather materials through foraging or production and craft different items. That is one of the functions of a house. Is worth a thousand words. Hmm. But why do we want to craft anyways? I would assume you get better gear for it. Wouldn't you just do dungeons? You received all the facility instructions. I assume there's something like crafted gear or something then. Crafted gears. Isn't dungeon gear usually better than crafted gear? No. Why not? Depends on because then life skill will be worthless unless if they force you to But it is in every game. On PWI, you had life skill and it was replaced by rank 9. And on BDO, you have life skill, but it's replaced by grinding Hadoom. We go any further... Wouldn't you say so? You can play no. More Why not? You still can't get. You still um, need to life skill um, for uh, money. But you can grind Hadoom. Is not the only thing. But you could do it instead of life scaling. Yes. Which makes it better than life scaling. No, because I don't want to grind Hanum. I want to just AFK on my well, boat. But see, you're not being optimal with your time. That's okay. You can put a mine in your house? Yes. Sometimes the mobs seem to reset, but you can still, if you CC them, they all reset. Place a flower garden. Why would I want to place a flower garden? Good question. Wait, how do you even do this? Is this like farming? Or what's going on? Don't have to do it. Just put all the things down and then talk to the NPC again so you can finish the quest. You placed the building. No, but it's telling me to do it though. Wait, how do you even do this? You can't. You don't. I. There's no seeds. No, but it just. I just placed three somehow. Like how did? What do you even? Because you had seeds then. But I didn't. You can. I only know how to place uh, the structures themselves. This is super confusing. You demolished the I think I think it just lets me place five structures regardless. Yeah. Yeah, no, those are your starter structures basically. But why? Why do I want this? Because you want to do housing Welcome. content. Let's plant some seeds. This is the most but I don't. <laughs> then don't do it. <laughs> Yeah, but like I'm trying to just figure out the rationale for doing these things. Are you ready to hear the next explanation? To make food buffs, to make gear, etc. No matter what the facility, all of them are rewarding if you put in honest work. Ah, materials. Now go to the house. What type of materials? Good job. Did the production guide explain everything well? Well then, time to make sure we taught you everything. Yikes! The housing guy forgot to call me! I guess it's a flying bear. You must be wondering why the Luminous Research Group is visiting your house, right? Oh yeah, Luminous Battle. That's what I was trying to figure out earlier, yesterday. Oh, it's AFK leveling, I think. Listen to, to level your Luminous, presumably. Or so would it be called Luminous Battles? No, I think it's actually just AFK leveling. What? But what does that have to do with Luminous? Oh, the Luminous fights for you or something. <sighs> what? But do you have to- well, uh, do you have to be online to do this then, I guess? Yes. What?
So it's just forced AFK leveling again, like BDO. Have to be online 24 7. Wasting computing resources across the land. Less wasteful than crypto? Equally wasteful. Oh, wait, I didn't even have my Doom in the summit. Why do you have to resummon um, it every time, anyways? Yeah, like in the PvP, I didn't even have it summoned. Kind of weird, I have to summon it every day. So it's just having it stay summoned. Goblin Cave, okay, let's see here. We can borrow the power of the Luminous for combat. From your house, after summoning energy elimination rate, let me adjust according to your item level. What the hell is energy elimination rate? Obtainable rewards will vary according to the selected Luminous battle region. Purchase from the gear shop. What the hell is a gear shop? Is that like the cash shop? And you can get enhancement stones and stuff from there. And there's three player luminous battle? Or what if I do the goblin cave? You just you just play a and it just plays a fighting cinematic for a while. Really? Okay, let me let, let's let's see. What if I do this? Like does it is it gonna consume it? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? It literally just does that. It just plays a... Um, I like, idle animation for, for eight hours. Yep, exactly how long it's gonna be before you log back on. What the fuck? And I'm just yep. getting EXP and gold. Yeah, it's AFK leveling. What? This shit makes no sense. It's about forcing you to have more online time. And then it consumes the blessing, or the, the, the luminous energy. Which I assume it recharges over time or something? Yeah, it resets daily. Defeats monster to charge. All right, that's kind of that's kind of dumb though. To be fair. Luminous battle is a function where you can send the luminous you own out to dungeons and obtain a variety See, of currencies. It says you're sending the luminous out to the dungeon, so why do you have to be there? Like you should, it should be you sending out the luminous, and then you go do something else while it farms for you. That would be more lore appropriate. To start a luminous battle. You've gotten quite strong, which means you will soon enter a stage of your journey that requires many enchantment materials and trade items. Damn, he actually said enchantment, even though it says enhancement in the text. Well then, enjoy your new house. Hope to I guess this is like PDO read it all over again. Click the return button. I guess crafting stuff you can sell in exchange for gold. Is that like a way to make money, maybe? Yes. Hmm. But if so, who's buying it? Is it like on BDO, where you're selling to the NPC and handing in the boxes, or are there players who are actually going to buy them? Players. And what would they be buying them for? Any ideas? If the gear is better than what you have, then yes. Hmm. But will the gear be better though? Depends. Okay. That, that's the major question.
I need uh, one weapon enhancement stone. Where do I get that? Make sure you don't just keep using level one weapon enhanced stones. Because you need to get it to seven so you can upgrade. Oh, well, I don't really that. need to get it to seven necessarily. Uh... Oh, wait, I only need seven. I thought I needed, I thought I needed eight. Eight gives you another slot. Seven lets you upgrade. Wait, what does that mean? Well, I think that color gets... I think you get a stronger color, I guess. Wait, really? So I should be playing... I, I th I th if I you I use eight. an enhanced slot with uh, a lower stone, then there comes to a limit of... Wait, let me try this then. Because I didn't know you can upgrade at level 7. <clears throat> but if you use your enhanced slots on lower level en enchantment stones, then you can never get that piece of gear up again. Well, I can always reset your uh, enhancement. Right? I think it might require it requires an item. I don't know how to get that item. I think you farm. <clears throat> Are you okay? I'm okay. All right, but wait, it's only forty percent chance for me to do this enhancement. Better crown it. How? There's, it doesn't let me crown it. Okay, well I got plus seven. But now what? <clears throat> you need to um, dismantle blue tier or better gear until you get enough um, upgrade stones. What? How am I supposed to accomplish that? Farm. You've got to be kidding me. In fact, I only have one faint what equipment upgrade stone right now. Should have been dismantling, I guess. But like that's I literally have not gotten a single piece of blue item. You can buy them off the marketplace to break down. Where's the marketplace? Should... What does the marketplace look like? Remarkably similar to the BDO one. What, so I can press like Press the escape button and go to the marketplace? Yes. Um... Main weapon... Wait, these are all super expensive though. They're like 30... 30k each. How am I supposed to be able to afford that? I only have 130 gold. There's no way I can afford that. How do you have 130? Did you open all the gold chests? All the gold gold of pouches? Course. Oh wait, there's more. Did okay, you get all your achievements? But still only 140k. What achievements? Wait, what are we talking about? What achievements? Press escape, achievements, and titles. Achievements, you can receive rewards. You can find ones where you have awards and you can take the rewards. Damn, why am I so over and here? Collection book. And then there's the collection book, which is. Yeah, I'm kind of over geared. Because I've been. Uh, Wally's been telling me to gear up. Collection book. I don't you, really get it. You basically hand items over to the game and in exchange for rewards and... But it tells me to register. What does that mean? That's feeding items to the game. Stuff like level one rune stones or the books that you get from reading all the steals around towns. 
Oh, so it's not really worth worth it then, is it? It is. Why? Isn't it better to focus on like using the items to upgrade like runes itself rather than feeding it? You're going to get uh, more than you need. All right, fine. I'm just gonna do. I guess I'll feed it the uh, dungeon gear I got. Oh, but that doesn't did that didn't do anything though. Well, you have to feed it enough. So I have to feed all three to get the effect. A reward, yes. What? I didn't know that. How was I supposed to know that? I thought you got partial effect. Per feed. So now I just lost two pieces of gear for no reason. Oh, are you going to use them anyways? Probably. How? I, I guess you just trolled me. Damn. All right. So what else? Uh, collection book. Where's the achievement you said? Challenges. Achievements and titles. Where is achievements and title? Also in the escape menu. Achievements. <clears throat> titles. So if we go to achievement. And then we go to. Common achievements complete. Talk with villagers one hundred times. Okay, so I, so I, so do I just receive everything, or or should I? Yeah, just receive selectively everything. receive things this time around. Just everything. Oh, take everything. All right. I mean, who knows? Like last time, I tried to feed it here, and I like, got scammed. So I have to be more careful. It's this time. Use recovery potion two hundred times. For 20 recovery potion? Well, that's, it's that's pretty stuff funny. that will naturally happen. You're not supposed to do it for the sake of the reward. Well, because everyone I know do achievements for the sake of the reward, though. To be fair. Are you going to use recovery potions even if you uh, aren't intentionally trying, right? Yeah, but have you heard of battle passes? What do you mean battle passes? Alright, you know, you know in games like... Uh... Oh, you mean doing with battle pass? Well, battle pass rewards have to be worth it. Yeah, so like people would do those achievements just for the sake of the reward, rather than just letting it happen. Yes, naturally. but this is going to happen naturally anyways because you're going to spam pots. Debatable. But we'll say yes for now. But if you're an achievement hunter, for example. And titles. I guess I'm just an arena rookie. God of Enhancement? It's a grand title. Uh, Damn, you can well, be the God of Enhancement. To, I guess you just have to get pens. <laughs> Damn, you can defeat the Lieutenant Commander 100 times in a row more to achieve the MVP title. So wait, there, mu there, there must be something to those uh, mobs who are fighting then, or am I mistaken? That's probably it. Because wasn't one of the mobs called the Lieutenant Commander? Yes. That's probably it, because the, otherwise, why would you have... If you weren't grinding the other side's guards, then why would you uh, have to... Um, why would you be forced to go over to the uh, other side's territory where you're at disadvantage? Wait, so is that the Realm War then? I'm so confused. No, that's... The Realm War is a different thing. But then what was... That, but it, those mobs were called the Lieutenant Commander, right? Like, there was a mob called that. Yeah, so you it's just a place where you grind NPC guards. Yeah, and the and the achievement is to kill the Lieutenant Commander 100 times in the Realm War. Then that's a different thing. So that kind of implies those mobs, like that was the Realm War. 
No, then there's there must be a different thing, man. But why would they be called the exact same thing? Like that was the lieutenant commander. Okay, so they're so they're also present in the realm war then. You think so? Well, other mm. than that, the other explanation would be if you just you know, there's a lot of reuse of names. But what if that was the realm war? Like, what if that's the? Oh, answer? that's not the realm war. You don't think so? Hmm. Okay, but I also have quests that's called RVR, and I assume RVR stands for Realm versus Realm, right? Yes. And then, the, and then the quest basically tells me to like to go to the fortress and stuff, like where where all the mobs were. So doesn't that kind of imply that that was the Realm War? That is RVR, not the Realm War, which is going to happen what? six server time. Doesn't RVR stand for Realm versus Realm? Yes, but which the Realm, Realm War, War event. But the Realm War. Okay, you know I'm not going to argue semantics with you. It's just... What? What are you even talking about? What if there's multiple events that can be called Realm War? How can there be multiple events called the Realm War? Why not? Well, because I assume uh, when you do a translation, you want to have distinct names for different things, right? Nope. PDP, I couldn't even get distinct uh, icons for different things. I mean, that is true, but I kind of want to give them the benefit of the doubt. You probably don't have to. I feel like that's just a very pessimistic way to look at it. Honorary tokens. Laurel wealth pieces. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I st I'm at uh, 308 gold now, so that's still not really that worth it. Is there anything else I need to do? No cloak. I'm just I just picked up a quest at the quest manager, and I'm just following it. All right, so then I guess at this point. So I'm just PVEing. Wait, vitality blessing crystal. Wait, equipping at the Blessing Altar? Have you seen any Blessing Altars? Yes, they're in your house. You put oh. One oh, so you can go to your house and get it's a buff. A house buff. It's essentially a house buff, oh, yes. Oh, okay. I wonder if I should go to Siege tonight. I guess you're already bored of Elia? Oh, no, I'm kind of tired. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to take a nap or something for oh. sure. But... Damn. No, but like I thought you were taking a break off Siege this week. That's what you said. Yes, but I can cancel that. Yeah, but like why? Are you getting bored of Helion? I mean, their Siege might be good. Interesting. Whatever, though. Interesting. Um. Damn. All right. What else? So I guess at this point I should upgrade my my armor. Should I just upgrade the reclaimed armors? Yes, I am upgrading the reclaimed ones. Wayne is like super gear now. What's up, man? What's up? What about the blacksmith? Like talk. Should I upgrade that, or should I wait until I get a reclaimed? I hit some upgrades on that, but I don't think. It's worth. I think you should get a reclaimed land set. Get reclaimed because it has more ruin slots. You think I so? Think. 
When do we get the reclaimed one? I'm out of story quest. Damn. Have you gotten the reclaimed uh, top yet? No. No? Wait, what if what if we don't get a reclaimed one for the top then? Well, you just wait until you do or you buy it from the marketplace. No, but like, what if we never get it? Like, what if that doesn't actually exist? Like, what if there is no reclaimed top in the game? There's no... Oh, okay, you're just... You're just being contrarian now. How am I being contrarian? How can there not be a top for the set? I just dismantled a contra... I just dismantled a reclaimed light piece. Because maybe it's just not in a set. Because there's still okay, set so bonuses. Okay, that's fine. You would just get it that's because that's... being contrarian. No, you said there just, what if there just isn't? Like, the, what if it just didn't exist? Yeah, because, like, it's not a set, so there's no reason it has to exist. Okay, so you don't have to get it then. But I just saw that uh, there is one, actually, if you kill Um Kardun, but it has the exact same stats. Yeah, it's like the exact same stats, Um Kardun. Upgrade to plus seven. Oh, but the reclaimed one can be upgraded, whereas the blacksmith light armor cannot be upgraded. See, that's the difference. Like, that's what I'm looking for. GG. Yeah, see, see, that's that's what I'm looking for when I, when I ask. Oh. What, whether I should go for reclaim or not, because this one cannot be upgraded, whereas that one can be. <clears throat> Does the reclaim one give you more rune slot? Uh, maybe. It says it's good between 3 to 6 rune slots, but all of my reclaim one has only one rune slot, so... I don't think you get the rune slot until you, uh, after you upgrade them. Mm. Also, is it worth upgrading my rune to, like, level 3 right now, or should I wait until I get, like, I've reclaimed upgrading gear first? Level. I am upgrading the runes. You can just take the runes out. But is it worth getting level 3? Yes. Or is it worth getting level 2? It's worth getting level 4, in fact. So what what is worth the most? Like what should it, what should be the first priority? As high as you can without having empty rune slots. Rune slots should be the highest. So you, so it's more so then it's more worth getting two rather than three. If you cannot get, if you cannot get, yeah, enough yeah, that, rune threes. Yeah, so that's what I'm asking. So I guess you want to focus on getting them to the next level first, which and fill up all the slots. Essentially. Damn. But uh, have you figured out if we can change the rune slot yet? No, you just have to get gear that has the correct rune slot that you want. So, so, so the so if I don't get the correct rune slot, the gear is just instantly trash. Yes. Damn. What? what? There should be a way to like change the runes. <laughs> It's probably yeah, not God, you be yet. kidding me. It's, it's just instant trash. <laughs> what the fuck? See, then, this is what you get when you ask for gambling. Like, we, we get shit like this. GG. This is why you well, never ask for gambling. I, I, I guess when the Oven Raid release, the uh, probably Assault will probably be mostly cost a lot. Uh, I think most people are using, like, all the good players are using protection, actually. Really? Yeah. Huh. This protection just seems so strong. It gives, Why, you a bar the... it gives you a barrier and it's just impossible to do any damage to them. What? Yeah, did you see me fight yesterday? No. Alright, I'll go into arena again. Alright, let's see. Let's see if I find if anyone is for any protection. Like they're just imp like I just cannot beat the people with protection at all. So uh, you can't just be Warlord? Like anyone who runs protection, because they just get a bear that absorbs all my damage. And I have no idea how you're supposed to beat that. I mean, there's certainly a way to like counter all others' ruin abilities. Well, there, there was... should be like one ruin that's like so OP. Like there is one apparently, but you need like level 33. And it's only a chance to, to remove the um, barrier. Whereas you get the barrier at like level 12 protection. 
Damn. Going <sighs> against. Elemental. Wait, is this guy just not doing anything? Why does Wait. it look like you did so little damage? I don't know. I'm just like, not, not good at the game, I guess. Like, you do like 24 damage. Like, what is that? And he does like 760. Look at that. Well, gear. <laughs> like, the only vest gear you can get right now is the honor points gear. But like, it will take you so long just to like kill the other fraction just to get an honor points. Damn. Damn. See, look at that. 182, 163. He's, no, he just did more damage than me, so I think he's just outplaying me. GG. I couldn't get him into the second CC. Also, I don't think there is even a point when you want to be on the arena because you don't get any rewards for what you want the arena. Whereas you actually get honor points for doing 2v2 and 3v3, which is kind of weird. Well, what? No, not... you should! You don't. Why, why Why? would there be arena then? What, what's the point of arena then? I don't know. It's kind of scuffed right now. No, this game. They, they probably didn't put the features. Like, they didn't put accessory in uh, close beta 1 yet. Mm, no, I think it's intended. Mm, I don't know. We, we'll, we'll have to wait until open beta. Because there might be some hidden features that just not enable yet. And uh, we don't know that. Holy shit, 521. Damn, finally you yeah. did some good damage. Oh, and he absorbs. Yeah, I saw that. Very good CC uh, UI to show you if he absorbs or not. Evade. Mm -hmm. Nice evade. Oh. Damn. Damn, I'm not sure what to do if, like, in between, you know? Like on PDO, when you like when you run out of cash, you kind of just like mm -hmm. stay protected. But here I'm just taking damage. Like I don't really have any defensive skills, and I don't have any like CC so I can just continuously follow up. Because mm -hmm. my all of my skills have such long cooldowns. I can only like really try to engage every uh, twelve seconds. And then this is like my only defensive skill, but it has like a 40 second cooldown. Uh, is there more skill down the line that give you defense? I don't think so, because like I unlocked my T, but that's like a fourth skill. Like you're forced to use this skill. You can't change it around. So I'm assuming what? like 5, C, and X are going to be the same thing. Mm. Yeah, it's, T is a fourth skill. Like you can't change the skill slot. Oh, then I wonder if Z and X is... Yeah, they might be forced as well. Let's see. Like you might not, you might like, you might actually only get one to four Q E R, and L and B R. So like, those might like be the only skills. You seven, get. seven skill. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So.
So I guess uh, after level 35, we have to grind or do dungeon. Well, level 35 is like a hard cap or a soft cap, I think. Yeah. Because I've been level 36 since yesterday, and I haven't been level able to level at all. GG. I am... What do you mean? I'm 30... I'm just following the quest. I'm 37.37. 37. Bro, what the fuck? I'm already like almost dead. What the fuck? Damn, he's level 39. He basically like unlocked all the skill already. Yeah, man, I'm just dead just like that. Wow. He did I only did 800 damage. I well, why is assassin skill so low in arena? Like, I can't get them into, like, a CC law, because they can't break health every 15 seconds. And then in between that, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, I was watching the, like, uh, like I was watching people who, like, play ranged assassin, and they just spam skills. Like, I don't think combo actually matters too much in this game, maybe. What? It shit matters. That's so dumbfounded. Yeah, but so like, there's, most, a, there's a spamming MMO, skills. Actually, most MMO are not combo. If you look at World of Warcraft, for example, it's just damage trade. Damn. That's why I was just saying, like, in, like, another Discord, like, F, uh, I mean, BDO is actually still, like, way better game than this. They just have to fix all the shit that's broken about BDO. Well, BDO is also moving towards damage trade now, so that's kind of debatable. Like, if they, if they, like, Keep it without the damage rate, then it would it would actually be a good game. But it's just moving more and more towards damage rate. Like they they like I feel like the GMs don't know what makes the game good. You know. That's why they're finally nerfing casters and sages. But that doesn't change anything. It's the gear that makes it based on damage rate. Like at the high gear score, like your combo damage and your damage rate damage is almost exactly the same. So there's no real incentive to combo. Wait, what? He, he's just evading the whole time while doing that. Damn, I guess assassin really rely on uh, dodge because every time you fight like another class, the HP is just way higher than yours. Wait, what the fuck? There seems to be a little point in playing Assassin. It's not even threatening, I think. The damage is too low. Well, I I, I think... Uh, Elyon did like many buffing patches in Korean, so... This is, we're just playing like at like... The fresh start of Elyon, right? There's no... I have 3.8k. But I wasn't able to kill him before he killed me. I don't know. I'm, I'm more excited for the next close beta because they'll allow to play Spl uh, Slayer, I think. Yeah. You're excited to play Slayer? Yeah, I, I, I think I might main that class or maybe I'll try Assassin. So what, Elementalist wasn't really your thing? No, I mean, the damage is good, but like, I don't know, it's just not my playstyle. Like, come on. Bro, I'm a fucking wizard, and I walk up to my enemy and fight them close range. I I, I don't have that... That, uh... That feeling of attacking in far away. Like, I just don't like that. I don't know, maybe if it's like Gunner. Isn't Gunner, like, more of a long-range class than Wizard is? Maybe, I don't know. Oh, now we're just both evading. Damn, you're both assassin. Yep. Yeah. 
absorb. What is this? Just waiting for a cooldown? Yep. Oh fuck. Alright. Okay, I just find the fence. Yep. And now we're now we're just both evading again. Oh. Why is he playing so much around the pillar? What is his name? Shitcan? What? It's uh, <laughs> S-H-T-C-N-T It's Shakant GG Shakant <clears throat> I don't know why he was just like repeatedly going around the pillar Going for the line of sight even though he's an assassin Maybe he wants to go into stealth. But I can see him when I'm in stealth. What? Really? Yeah. Wait, so, so 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 when you're in stealth, you can see other people in stealth? Yeah. So, so assassin counters assassin. <laughs> it's a stealth counter class. Damn. So there's no point. You know, I guess once you stealth, you can like, get a stun. On mm -hmm. the first, like after hitting them, but but still, also, how did he even know immediately that I was assassin? Maybe just my lucky, you maybe it was just lucky. Oh, nice of a. Still crowd control in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, what? That didn't really do. That wasn't really the play there. Nah, yeah, you jump into his uh, attack. Full combo? I did, I did get the combo, but. Damn. Well, wait, what? That did not get him. Wait, how? What? That didn't get him. I don't know why he didn't get pulled in. Like, are there skills that make you immune to being pulled in? Hey, Walla, well, you're an elementalist. Or uh, you're a mystic. Is Wally still here? Yeah, uh, he's not here anymore. I know. <laughs> All right. What are you gonna log in? Nah. I, I I don't feel like putting too much effort into close beta. Oh, you're bored of the game already. Not more. I just want to <laughs> play. I I I don't want to put effort in close close beta. I just like it's going to be deleted. Oh, it's not really effort. It's just knowing how the game works. Uh, I prefer that during open beta. Okay. Very interesting. Yeah. But how how will knowing how the game works be deleted? Your knowledge isn't getting deleted, it's in your head. Uh, uh, GG. And your your knowledge of the game can't get deleted. So what do you mean? I don't know. I just don't feel like doing close beta.
So is it a quick finding one v one? It seems like more people yeah. are doing it right now. Oh. What the heck is the same guy? You have to be him. Hmm. What? That just follows me. As long as you don't don't jump into the pillar. Then you what the heck? Run. Oh whoa. Ooh, nice ball. shit. You dodged that. Alright. I got him that time. Well, I, I think you could have got him last match as if you didn't like jump into the fire pillar and like took like 20% of your health. Well, <laughs> I thought it, I thought it was immune to damage when I used that skill, but I don't think so. No. I think it only dodges if he was aiming at me. Mm -hmm. When it's not, it's not like an iframe. Wait, this immune to crowd control removes removes movement impairing effect. See, uh, crowd control. Hmm. <sighs> 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 All right. I guess you and Walter are both tired today. Didn't get enough sleep. I did. I'm just I don't know. I'm just tired from going outside. <laughs> fuck. Wait, it's this fucking guy again. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh, he heal. Oh, wow. I think he has the barrier as well. You can't yeah, see, he has the barrier. Like, when you have the oh. barrier, it's just so difficult. Did you also have it, right? There's like that skill, whatever? Yep. Oh. I guess you choose not to use it. I don't know how to use it. That's one of the things that separates good players from bad players, I feel like. The players kind of know how to use the barrier. GG. Oh, rear attack. Oh, fuck. Damn, he did a lot of damage for rear attack. Is there a damage bonus? I mean, yeah. he did almost the same damage. He did like 400 more than me. Alright. I'll be right back. Alright. I feel like it's hard to cast the target skill around the pillar for some reason. Like, even when there's a clear line of sight, it sometimes doesn't cast. Because <laughs> Zarka spawn in someone in the world chat asks. This isn't BDO. Alright. Still don't know how I can tell who I'm fighting at the start. There's no names or tell or anything telling me what class or even person I'm fighting. I 
don't see anyone, I'm assuming it's gonna be an assassin then. Alright. We're just doing this to shred again. Alright. Walking is that? Nope. Get him with that. TC. Humble. Get him with the CC. Oh shit. Oh. I wasted that. Alright, we're doing this evade. Get him? Nope. An obstacle between you and the target. Get him with the stun. Oh wait, I don't have any CP. I think I should be able to kill him. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes I try to like combo them for too long. And I actually and I end up missing my major damage. I'm trying to like auto attack them enough times in order to charge up to max CP and then go for the obliteration. But then as that ends up uh, being worse because they actually get out of it and I just miss my obliteration completely. Damn, why does it take like 16 seconds for a match to start? They're obviously both in the arena already. Oh, different person this time. Chinese banana. Wait, why? Like, sometimes it doesn't stun. Why does that happen? Oh shit, wait, what was that? Fuck, like, it just happened again. I just did that again. Okay. Let's just pull him in so I can wait, wait. That is not good. Stun? Fuck. Okay, so he's evading while doing that. Let me go for the combo again. Wait! I didn't have CP? I thought I did. I'm fucking up already. Maybe I can get him. Nope. Okay, I have another chance maybe? Nope. Oh, I fucked up too many times there. I keep trying to like get max CP charges, and then some. And then a few times it just didn't have CP at all, so I couldn't even combo. Wonder if there's like a better way to regenerate CP. Like maybe I don't really need RMB. Actually, wait, RMB guarantees CP generation. Whereas LMB only generates 50% chance. Huh? Can you imagine using RMB more? I just realized. But LMB I can do that like way more times. And I can poison them. Hmm. Yeah, RMB I can only do like 2 or 3 hits. Whereas LMB I can do like 6 hits. Hmm. Hmm, and there's still world quests. Maybe I should actually have accepted the world quests, because those gives me enhancement stuff. Uh, 
All right. Who am I against this time? I don't see anyone, so either assassin or DC. Nope. Over there, actually. Maybe he already knows it's an assassin. Okay, I'm evading here. Oh shit. Okay, so I'm already dying. Damn, that turret. What the hell? It was this DPS in me while I was attacking him. Wait, I did 7.5k? How? Oh. How did he not die then? Wait, what is going on? That's so confusing. How did I do 7.5k to that guy? And he didn't die. But the previous guy was doing only like 4k and they were dying. What? gonna be same guy knows this is a completely different guy. You can't use this because we're too far. Okay, well Poke him in. Okay, this guy's already absorbing everything. Absorbing everything. What the heck? That was not good at all. Not sure what he was doing different though. Like I guess if they're good, they know to dodge the second hit of shallow attack. So I guess I could teleport and then shadow attack. To counter that. Assassin? Shit, okay, I fucked up. I don't I don't start with CP. Oops. 
so is he not going for CCs? If I do that, this. What? Not enough stamina. Go for stun. Not enough stamina. Wait, what? I don't think I even got CC there. Hmm. I think maybe I missed too many of my CC. I don't know how he was how he was dodging how he dodged my CC actually. Let's try that again. Say, wait, it's fucking, it's this fucking guy again. Can we not? Can we not do this? You can't use this because you're too far. Oh, okay. At least we're not doing this right now. Nope, we're doing this again. You've got to be kidding me. I think he actually dodged that. Oh my god. Not enough stamina. Crowd control immunity. Wait, how I'm I'm just Okay, wait. Shit! How do you get out that? Hey, you think? Chase. Stop using the pillar, man. But for real though, I keep dashing it into the pillar rather than around it, I noticed. That's kind of annoying. Maybe I have to adjust for that. I feel like angle my camera a bit further, or a bit more. You kind of work around that pillar. You can't use skills. It's better not be the same guy. Okay, it's not the same guy. Also an assassin though. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. CC. Wait, am I not doing any damage? Can we go for evade? Can to do some damage? Go for CC? Oh, okay, fuck, he was immune there. I fucked up. Wait, what? How did I miss that? Stealth? Huh, didn't work. CC. Fuck. Got out of that. Oh, nope. Don't want that. Get out of there. Shit. Oh fuck! He just killed me like that. What's the, how much damage was that? I felt like I had a lot more. I, I felt like I still had HP, but I just died. Hmm.
Damn, that was disappointing. you do better you can't use skills you can't use skills I can't use skills maybe that explains it it's this fucking guy again man maybe I should actually go do quests so I don't have to deal with this pillar bullshit like, this is actually annoying. Especially because it doesn't dash you around the pillar, it dashes you into the pillar. Get the stun. Where is he? Not enough stamina. Stun. CC. Go for the second combo. Nope. Alright, he was immune to that, but it's fine. I think I'm at the higher damage right now, anyways. Okay, well, we're just going to be evading. That's fine, we're still evading. Wait for his stealth. Oh, shit. I missed that. Just. Go for the kill. There we go. So against him, I feel like I'm doing comfortable damage most of the time. Interestingly enough. But that's not always the case against everyone. So what is the reason for that? If I queue with that guy one more time, I'm actually going to go do quests. Okay, different guy. Oh, fuck. I wasted it. I thought he was actually not going to uh, remove the crowd control for a second. Oh, okay. He, he waited that one. Oh, shit. You got me. I thought I could like... Oh shit, he actually killed me in like one combo. Hmm. You have to be more careful. I didn't know he can actually kill me in one combo, because I never killed anyone in one combo before. Maybe my combos is not good, though. He doesn't seem to, like... Like, I, I seem to use rely entirely on my auto attack and this one skill. For my combos. Hmm. But it would be helpful if I learned, like, exactly when I should, like, actually remove the CC. Because as soon as I removed the CC, he got me with another CC. So that wasn't good for me at all.
Damn, no one queuing anymore. What's going on? The worst that message telling them I'm trying to queue. No, well, this is blocked anyway. You can't see this, but there used to be a message when I queue for more than one minute saying that someone's looking for a queue. Or it's more than two minutes. Alright, there we go. Nero. Different guy this time. Probably an elementalist. Oh no, wait, no, wait, it's a warlord. You can't use this because Ah. Uh, didn't work. Hmm, so they're just immune. Why are they just immune? I wasn't able to CC him at all. I don't really understand Warlord too much either. Like this one is a shield destruction. It breaks his block. Hey Twizzy, what's up? How are you doing? Yeah, they just block everything. But I have a skill that's supposed to break their block. But it's like it's not technically a block, it's a uh, immunity. So I don't think that actually works against it. Because this cancels their shield defense, but I don't think when they're immune to CC, that's a shield defense. Also, I'm just trying to do some uh, 1v1 arena, trying to actually learn how the game works right now. But doing really poorly. Pretty much getting wrecked by everyone, so... As you can see, you have a very descriptive stream title. It's describing my exact situation right now. Alright. What is this, Elementalist? Let me... Okay, wait. They were just immune that entire time. What the fuck is this? Hmm. Get this CC? Oh, wait. How did I just die when he was CC'd? Sin is like the weakest class? Why would Sim be the weakest class? I thought people said Gunner was the weakest class. But then again, that's what people say. I don't think anyone is pro in this game yet. According to KR? Well, usually game sins are the most OP class, because of uh, usually because of engages and damage. But it's 
So they probably started with that in mind. But I guess they learned from the mistakes of other MMOs and made Sin low damage right from the start. Rather than uh, making them high damage and have to nerf them later. So smart on them, I guess. Hear and level also matters in Arena? Well, I did hear that, but... I don't think most people are like too high geared at this moment, are they? Like, isn't the highest gear only like 300? And Dante was telling me earlier that uh, if you have within 100 gear score difference, then it's still a fair fight. I don't know if that's necessarily true or not, but that's just what I heard. And well, I was watching at level 36 earlier, and they did 12k damage in the 2v2. So I don't know if it's level that matters, or if it's weapon that matters. Damn, Tootsie is level 40? What the fuck? Level 40. Congratulations. Yeah, well, I'm soft capped at level 36 right now. I can't get past this level. PvE is just too hard for Tootsie, me. What, 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 what gear do you have? Is it, is it the reclaim level 30 gear? Oh, you got a grind? For the higher rarity or grind. Well, I just don't know why they limit dungeons to like only four per day. Like if you have I mean, dungeons, grinding, why limit it? It's probably not a BDO's level, am I correct? It seems like to be just as BDO level. Really? Hmm. Yeah, it's not, not as bad. Not yeah. as bad as video? Yeah. I, I, I don't think grinding in Elyon is not as bad as video. It's, it's much easier, I would say. Easier? I don't know. It feels harder to me. What? I actually I died to the mobs two times earlier. Hmm. The mobs here actually kills well, maybe, me. Maybe because you're, you're playing Assassin. That's like the worst PvE. Well, assassins are usually the worst PvE class in most, games, so that's fine. It's not mm. unexpected. But still, the monster actually hits back. Whereas in uh, BDO, they just stand there and tickle you. <laughs> so, yeah, I think... I would say this game is actually harder than BDO. Damn. Harder. And Slayer being the top class, well, I I, am, I was thinking of playing Slayer earlier, but it's, it's well, not Slayer, out right now. Slayer is coming out in uh, the next closed beta, so we, we could try it. Well, Slayer, I'm, 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 I'm going to try it, definitely. I, I mean, Slayer know. is like a greatsword class, and that's kind of like a berserker class. Mm -hmm. My Q is just not queuing me in at all. I guess I'm just that bad right now. We can't find a match. You <laughs> kill me versus... My elo is too low. There's uh, there's no ranking in arena or any kind of like rating right now. It's just winning records, right? I mean, there's probably some sort of rating. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, uh, why is it like not able to find me with a person right now? Like, I'm sure there's at least one person queuing right now. Yeah. But probably just not someone at my elo. GG. After negative elo. Very few people have this honor. The five minute queue. Damn, five minutes fast. Is this a 20 destroying voice? 
Yeah. I don't hear, I don't hear him in voice. Oh. I don't know. I guess I found someone. Nice. I see who you're fighting. And then there's another 16 second queue after loading in. It should just be like 3, 2, 1, go. Well, maybe maybe they want you to like change your skills on something. But I don't even know who I'm fighting until the fight actually starts. And only now I know who he is. Oh. Okay, so now I know he's a gunner. Yep. Go for the stun, into combo. Nice. It's not taking any damage though. Holy shit, you do like 27, 30. Oof. Okay, well, I just died. Oh. I don't really know what their CCs do. Presumably I should just dodge, but... I, I used to have all of my stamina. Mm -hmm. I tried to engage through his attack, but maybe that was a bad idea. I think I just got traded trying to engage. Since this skill only makes me immune to crowd control, but doesn't give me any evade buffs. Yeah. I don't really have any evade engagement other than this one skill. Like this is the only skill I have that like Damn. Gives me an evasion while I'm engaging at the same time. Everything else I'm just forced to take damage. Like, this is probably my best protection skill, but that doesn't help me engage. That's more like a block. Alright, what am I against? Alright, so he's immediately crowd controlling me right off the bat. I guess I just oh, wait this out. Oh, he must be some buff or something because it's a warlord. Okay, so he's crowd controlling me again. What if I do? What if I do this? Humble. Airborne. I don't have a second CC, so now he's in that. Okay. Oh, he chased me out, so I can go for a second CC. Okay, well, he thought me was that. How the fuck does he do so much damage? Wait, he has, he has better engages than I do, what the fuck? <laughs> this engage actually CCs upon hit, upon hit. Wait, how did he kill me? Wait, what? How did that kill me? Wait, but I I appear I, I instantly dodge his attack and appear behind him. Don't I? Or does that like still make me take damage? Well did did he do like a AoE? It looked like a forward attack to me. But I was behind him when he was doing that. But somehow I still died. Oh, I'm not really sure. Well how come his engage is stunned? Whereas mine only stiffens, and I have to do the second hit to stun. Entering that, they can actually dodge out of it. 
after the stiff. That's why Warlord is just top PvP. I don't know, maybe I'm missing a stat. Actually, maybe I should actually be using... Oh, this many ruins still to be unlocked, so... I mean, skill, skill attribute. Wait, what the fuck? So, I mean, this makes it useless. If this just removes the stun, what does this do? It changes to a non-targeting skill that moves 15 meters forward. I guess Twizzy's here. Hello. I guess with this skill, you can, like, instantly airborne them, but you have to aim it perfectly, because it only airborne's at the uh, at the arrival point. Mm -hmm. Yo, Twitchy. And this just looks useless. Yeah. Hey, what's well, up? What class do you play, man? Uh, I'm playing Gunner until the Slayer comes out, because everybody was playing Warlord, so I didn't want to play that. <laughs> Gunner and Sin, well, how many things like Sin is like the least played, but everybody's either playing Warlord, Elementalist, or uh, Mystic. I mean, I've been seeing for plenty of assassins, though, to be honest. I see a lot of assassins in the arena, but like I said, assassin is kind of it's kind of dog shit. <laughs> Maybe it's kind of dog shit. It, it ain't it ain't no maybe. Like, I mean, their PVE is definitely dog shit compared to. PvP, but I mean, PvP, the only thing that they got is this. I mean, I mean, it's sin, so they can like run and counter a lot. But as far as like their damage in PvP, I mean, unless they're like super geared, I've yet to fight one that actually like wrecks me. Only time that I lose against the sin is like it sucks when you do arena and you can't see who, what, who you're gonna fight until the fucking match actually starts. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird. Decision. Yeah. Maybe. But I mean, I guess I guess it's kind of okay where you can't like preemptively set like a, a specific build for a specific class, but it would be nice to know what class you're fighting before the match starts. Yeah, but like at that point, why even bother having a 16 second delay if if not to set uh your build? Set skills, yeah. Just go three, two, one, and go. Then in that case, Prevent yeah, that entirely. That is true. Damn, I'm getting botted. Want to become famous? All right, I suspend. Let me suspend this bot. Hmm. Love bots. But I feel like my engages are actually pretty weak. Like I have one engage skill, and it only sees, it only stuns on the second hit for one second, and then I have to chain it up with something immediately. Which I can only do if I have CP, which I have to generate by attacking them first. <laughs> Whereas Warlord, like, that Warlord is fine, he literally has better engages than I do. He can immediately charge and stun. Yeah, Warlord is just broken. Like, that, that, that's definitely, like, the most broken class in the game right now. I mean, I don't know if it's so much broken, that's just having no, 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 actually it, good skills. It, it most definitely, I mean, it's good mm. skills, I mean. This is like the first time I seen a tank class that's that's this, this Vulcan, bro. Yeah, I mean, like Shaolin. This meta is good. so weird. Like like assassin is trash, but tank is like got here. Yeah, like because literally every time I did two v two, I never did two v two with one of my guild mates. And literally, if I just get jumped on as a gunner, like I can run, but like I it's so hard to live while wow, this dude just fucking lives for like eight minutes one v two and then. Maybe he'll win or maybe he'll die. Like, it, it shouldn't take two people to kill one person. Yeah, it shouldn't take that long. And, and you said they buff Assassin? Well, that's just because right? they're a tank class. Like, that's... Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, tank, they're a tank class, but it shouldn't take damn near almost the whole arena match for one 2v1 for the Warlord to die. Like, that's ridiculous. But yeah, they buffed Assassin and KR, so like I think what some people we I don't know exactly what they did, but I know like right now Assassin is like Wait, what the a fuck? little a little clunkier on NACVC. Mm -hmm. 
a little clunkier. I, that's what sense. people said. I never, I never played Sin. That's just oh. what I was told compared to Chaos. It, it's like, it's like, it, it, is it not like a nerf because it's clunkier? I mean, it's clunkier on like the seed, the closed beta, and then on Kirk. And I mean, I don't know if they buff like any actual like skills and damage, but. I remember this. There was somebody oh. saying that there was like a bunch of skills on KR that you can like use while moving in close beta. You can like use them while like standing still. Well, I don't even mind that really. It's just that I don't feel like I have any good engages. Most of the engages are easily dodgeable, and uh, I mean, once I like once I use my one engage, there's like twelve seconds where I can't do anything because I don't have any follow ups if they dodge. I think the problem is uh. Well, like I said, what makes a lot of people OP is uh, obviously the you know, the runes because uh, that gives you more skill points, and then also the uh, uh, depending on what level, like how many points you have in your rune, like the fucking protection tree, that shit's OP. And the uh, oh yeah, the protection tree. Yeah, every time someone uses it, I just can't beat them at all. Yeah, that shit is broken. Like, especially if it's like a mystic or warlord. Like, especially mystic. Like, majority of the fight, like they have like half their HP is a fucking shield, and I just and they just keep re it just keeps regenerating back like every 15 seconds. It's just impossible to kill them. Like, I can't run away because they're also a ranged class, so. And then if I attack them, I can't break their shield in time yeah, before is, they this kill This is like a low damage meta, it feels like. But I'm not, I'm not sure if that's intended. Like, was it supposed to be hard to kill? Or was that like a balance issue? I think it might be just a little bit of a balance issue, then also like gear. I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of the enhancing system. Like I mean, it could be worse, but I'm not like I don't super like it. What? It's too RNG it's... for you? It's no, bad. it's not. It's not too RNG. It's just uh, just this is different. I just don't really like how it is. Where how like um, it's RNG depending on how many attempts you can get on a weapon, and then like obviously you have the refinement stones either have a chance either plus one, plus two, or plus three. So that determines like how high you can get your weapon. And then also then the diamond attempt. The enhancement attempts, if they're like golden, those are guaranteed like 80%. But if they're not golden, then it's like a lower percent chance to reach the uh, success rate. Yeah, so that's like just BDO levels of RNG, right? Um, it's better than BDO. It's but I mean, better it's than just... BDO? Feels worse to, to BDO than to me. Nah, it's definitely better than BDO. I mean, if you feel an enhancement, you literally lose that slot forever. Unless you reset it, don't you? That's, like, terrible. It's if like... you, if you, I mean, if you feel an enhance, it, the only the only thing that breaks is if you use a breakthrough weapon, which are stronger than, like, the regular weapons. But the regular weapons, they don't, they don't break if they fail. They just... No, they, they don't just, break, uh... but, like, don't you lose the enhancement slot? No, you don't lose the slot. Oh, I mean, wow. I mean, yeah, you lose. I mean, yeah, you you lose the slot, but yeah, and then it also goes down by one. Yeah, so so that's that's like even worse than BDO. Like at least on BDO, you can just get it back up. You don't like permanently lose your ability to enhance. Well, I mean, that's when you have to reset the uh, enhancement attempt. Yeah, so so like, <clears throat> it basically goes back down to put, to zero. Pretty much. Yeah, that's like way worse than BDO then. Nah, 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 nah. I think BDO's worse. Now, BDO, you don't go down to like zero. You just go down, go down to minus one. Yeah, I know, but I, I still think BDO's worse. Hmm. Maybe you're just biased from playing BDO so much. This definitely sounds worse than BDO. Could but you be. know, Van, Van likes it. He likes, he likes the challenge. Yes. Yes. He likes uh, as much gambling as possible. That's what, yes. what he wants. Yeah, so I'm debating if I want to try and plus six my weapon, or do I try the solo dungeon again and see if I can get a level mm -hmm. 30, level 35 purple weapon, or 30, was it 30, 35 purple weapon? No, I'm plugging on.
for it. Well, you can do the dungeon as many times as you want, but you only get the rewards four times a day. Wait, but then why would you do it more than four times if you only get rewards four times? To help somebody out if they need the dungeon. Do people really do that, though? Um, I'm sure some people might. <laughs> like, I mean, if your guildmates need, like, like, hey, I need this three-man dungeon or five-man dungeon and, like, eat some people and shit. Damn. I would, see. I would think that they should, like, have actual incentive to help people. Uh, you gotta be one of the homies. Help the boys out. Damn, I'm, I've been fighting this guy, like, multiple times now. You what's the what's, what's the you maximum tried. enchantment? Uh, it just it just depends on how many enhancement attempts the weapon has and what stones you use. Like I mean, right now it looks like the max enhancement stones is like a plus three, but I'm pretty sure not too many people are making plus threes. So I mean, I think the highest I've seen somebody is maybe twelve. What? Yeah, I mean, as a dude, it's like four hundred and twenty something item level. Which he probably just got blessed by RNG and also has like hella purple gear. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm level 40. I can get like accessories and shit. I gotta do the story. But I'm debating on if I want to buy this level 35 purple weapon. And uh... It has, yeah. three, it has three enhancement attempts. One is Wait. like... Well, what, 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 what if you're fighting people with level 35 purple gear? <clears throat> Get wrecked. I mean, uh, it would be it would be nice if you could like test this out and do like some duels in the city, but you can't do duels and you can't like make your private games. Is there duels in like the uh, next version of the game? I have no idea. Okay. You tried two v two yet? I did, but two v two right now seems like a pretty big clusterfuck. Like people are just spamming you? skills. You can't even tell what they're doing. What you mean? What do you mean? I mean what I mean. Like, how do you even see what people are doing when the effects are so big and flashy? I mean, I, mean, I can tell what's going on. My eyes be running. My eyes be running away because mm. people be on my dick. Well, maybe because you have the benefit of uh, being a range class, or people have to chase you, whereas I actually have to go in, which makes it twice as hard. Or, well, I also just don't know in general what skills people have. Yeah, I mean, there's so many skills and skill customization, it's kind of ridiculous. Well, even with customizations, the skills still look the same, I guess. It's 128, let's see. How much? I don't even know how much damage is the plus six. I guess compare because this is 128 plus. Oh, then I'll also use boost that breakthrough slot though. If I did try to upgrade this and it failed. It's 168. You you are try Slayer next uh, close beta, Twizzy? Yeah, that's the class that really only looks interesting to me. Yeah, I'm gonna try it too. And also, I, when I was doing, I did like a few 2v2s two -two with uh, Dante, and half the time they just uh, AoE and then just kill us without actually having any real uh, comboing. Or Dante, you know. He plays Warlord. Oh, no, I mean. So I don't my CC, my any... CC chain kind of, kind of nasty. I don't know. Any, anything above one with ones that seems like a clusterfuck to me right now. At least in one with one, you can kind of tell what's going on, but everything else you just get AOE to death, and especially in large scale. That's just like a WTF. Do you even know what the um, benefit of killing those uh, commander mobs 
and stuff. You're talking, about the, you're talking about the mobs that like on by the enemy faction? Yeah. That's how people level up faster. That's how that's how that's how I grinded to level forty. Wait. That's how they level up faster? Yeah, because there's so many mobs and they like just keep restating they just they're just so easy to pull and they just keep spawning, so like you most people grind there to level up. Are those actually good EXP though? I mean, they give, they give about the same experience as like uh, mobs, but just the fact that you can pull so many and like they just keep like respawning. Like if you if you if you duo with somebody, but they're not in the same party, like don't be in the party. And all you do is just kill the same group of mobs. And as long as both of you do like half the damage, you get like majority of the experience. And that's how people grind. Or you can solo them. I mean, I either solo them or sometimes grind it with somebody or just found some random and started killing this shit. What's going on with those monsters being like only 600 EXP? 100 to 600. Unless the EXP is split based on how many people attack it. No, it's based on how much damage you do to the mob. Oh, okay. That's probably why then. Yeah. But I would have imagined you would actually get like some... I don't know, maybe honor points? Battlefield benefits? Because it's actually... Yeah, honor related points to killing that. players. But yeah, as far as just killing the mobs, yeah, it's just experience and loot. Mm, it's That's kind of lame. The only, only thing you get. And it's just for like the realm versus realm quest. The blue one. Okay, okay. Alright, fuck it. I'm about to see if I can get my weapon to plus six, and we'll see what happens. If it stays because of plus six, I guess I'll keep it. It's a breakthrough weapon, and if it doesn't, I guess, uh... I'm just spending my money on this, uh... Good luck. What the hell what? is a breakthrough weapon? Yeah, so I'm, yeah, I'm using a breakthrough secondary weapon. How do you break through to your secondary? Uh, it's just like, just, that's just like the type of weapon it is, like, just like the regular gear, and there's like the breakthrough gear. The breakthrough gear are the stronger stats than the regular gear, but if you fail, they break. The regular gear doesn't break if they, uh, fail. Is the attempt good, or what, what's the attempt rate? Successfully, I mean. Oh, uh, I think it's like 20 to 40. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, yeah, let's see, cause I uh, see to get two. Oh, I just have a, I just have a blue weapon at plus seven right now. I guess that's not even considered good then. Yeah, I mean, I'm using level thirty blue weapon, but it's breakthrough, so it has like higher stats than a regular blue weapon. How do I tell if mine is a breakthrough or not? It'll say breakthrough at the top right, uh, or probably. like, <laughs> in the, yeah, or in the or in the icon, it have like a little uh red, like it has like a little red. Uh, badge icon with a fucking broken glass. To, oh, yeah, to uh, classify as a breakthrough. Got sixteen k to upgrade this to plus six, uh, twenty to forty percent, and it broke. You got that through grinding. <laughs> now it's a bot in the marketplace. What? How how much money do you have? Well, I mean, now I got four hundred and four hundred something k. The fuck. I only have 300k. Um, Wait, how did you well, get so I, much money from grinding? Grinding and the oh. guild, guild, the guild uh, missions actually give you a lot of good shit. Yeah, you're actually going hard at it. Can't believe I'm whipping, bro. Uh, go for this guy. I wonder if I even have enough gold to upgrade this shit. <laughs> 81k. Is 
is active. Did you 5.6k damage to kill this guy? So what's better, going for like purple weapons, or upgrading, uh, upgrading definitely, your definitely, to purple? Definitely, or... definitely getting like a breakthrough secondary weapon is like, um, like a, it's like a, it's, um, uh, what's the word? It's definitely a priority because when you get a breakthrough secondary weapon, you get that extra skill slot. On, Wait, you know, can only your secondary weapon be breakthrough? Your... No, nah, any piece, any piece of gear can be breakthrough, oh, okay. but you can only, but you can only equip so many breakthrough weapons. So, so like when you are level like at the top. When you open up your, uh, well, yeah, I think at level 35, yeah, level 35, you can get equip one breakthrough weapon, and level 40, you can equip two, and level oh. 45, you can equip three. Because I know this, my, uh, my secondary can't be enhanced. Yeah, that's because that's, that's like a special weapon. That's from like the fucking quest, yeah. Oh, that's why. So there's actually, so, so that's like not the norm. Like you're supposed to be able to yeah. enhance your secondary then. Yeah, that's not the norm, yeah. Oh. Oh, fighting mm -hmm. the warlord now. Well, since the weapon broke, uh, it was worth it. I got, I got, I bought the purple weapon. It got to plus six, so I'll take it. Damn, I don't have any fucking. Wait, that's not the warlord. Damn. I don't have any fucking blue. You like this game better than video? Yeah, I don't know about all that. <laughs> it's a it's a fun game, but I like it more than BDL. I don't know. I mean, I, like it's like I think most people feel like like the game definitely has a uh, more content than BDO. like actual PVE and PVP content. Well, like, of course, video would have more. No, 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 no. This game has more PVP and oh. PVE content. Mm -hmm. is Damn, this nigga around the surfboard, man. What the fuck? Where you get that from? Oh, well, now my item level is 292k. 600 weapon attack. K. That is so tanky. Boy, Lord, man, like, it, it, it just, it's just so crazy. Oh, the treasure maps also give you like a lot of money. So like, like I said, the clan missions, they really do give you a lot of rewards. Like they give you a lot of treasure maps, mana experience, gold pouches. And then there's just, um, oh, oh, the realm, the realm war is going on. Huh. I don't know what that is. 7.8k. Oh yeah, the realm war. That was something I was trying to uh, figure out. I think I it's like starting soon? It must have had something related to do with those uh, mobs, is what I feel like. I mean, it's just like, I mean, it's just faction PvE always. Oh, the first round is starting in five minutes. Okay. Yeah, because like I was uh, talking with Wally earlier, and uh, I noticed one of the achievements says that if you kill the Lieutenant Commander during the realm war, like there's an achievement to do that. I think Lieutenant Commander is the uh, ranking that you get for based off your honor points and nobody is ranked because the season is not going to reset in time during the closed beta. Wait, that's really? why that, yeah, that's why that other skill slot at the bottom right, like Z and X is locked. Like one of them is based off of your ranking for like after a season. 
Hmm, I thought Lieutenant Commander was what was the name of the mob. I don't think that's the name of the mob. I think that's actually like a ranking based off of what you rank in the season. Because let me see. Let's go to ranking. Uh, oh, let's, let's go to rank reward. Yeah, so if you go to rank reward, listen to rankings. You have vice. You have chief commander, which is like rank one. Commander, rank two. Lieutenant commander, rank four. So, yeah, that's, I'm pretty sure that's what it's talking about. Oh, so you actually want to be uh, good at PvP then? Yeah, I mean, there's a ranking system for like literally each thing. You got honor points for based off. You get honor points. You get honor points for killing people in the arena, but it's stupid. I don't know if it was intended or maybe they just did it because they didn't want people to win trade. But you don't get anything for doing one v one. But yeah, you that's get what I honor. Said. It's pretty. Yeah, odd. you get yeah you get honor points and stuff for doing two v two and three v three, but you don't get anything for doing one v one. What? Yeah, that's yeah, so wrong. Yeah, I mean, there's still there's still a ranking system for one v one if you like win, but you don't get any honor medals and like honor points for killing people in one v one. Well, the ranking system doesn't even matter because it doesn't count death, so you could be like inting every yeah. game. And yeah, yeah, and then you just win every so often. You'll be ranked up. Pretty much. <laughs> Damn. Also, yeah. you say assassin is bad, but the top two uh, honor PvP player is assassin right now, so. I mean, this is because they just kept playing the game. <laughs> mm. I mean, that's one way to look at it. I mean, the mother class, the class that I usually lose to in arenas is Mystic. Mystic or Warlord. Assassin, not so much. But you don't see them ranking high. In uh, large scale, because they're all healers, maybe. Oh, yeah, in large scale, yeah, Mystic is gonna be healing. But in 1v1, they're pretty AIDS. At least in Arena. I don't know how it is in, like, fucking open world, but yeah. I'm trying to see. Hold on, let me, let me ask them how do I get it? How do I get accessories out there, I think. Yeah. I think I fucked up there. Well, if you're only healing in large scale, you're not gonna get honor points, so maybe assassin's actually good, because you get honor points by playing assassin, since you're the you're only well, charged for DPS. Scale, I think assassin's top tier, right? Damn, where did Twizzy go? I don't know. Damn, I guess he left. <sighs> Assassin. Where are you at, Twizzy? Gone now, man. Damn, he ditched us. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. What the heck? What? Why did he interrupt my attack? There we go. That's my combo. What the hell? How is he doing so much damage? What's doing? What's just doing that? What the fuck? Yo, what the hell? Like, I don't know, maybe my build is focusing too much on combos, and I need more dead DPS skills. I guess so. DPS is the way to go. He's just killing me. 
just like that. Well, it's like Shadow Dance, I think. I don't even know. GG. So many people don't even have obliteration on their bar. Uh, I guess it's time for you to swap out all your CC skill and just to DPS skill. That. Okay, well, he did have some duration, but... Come on, Wayne, where's your damage? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I did 4.5k. Damn. Hmm. Then what, did, did he dodge a lot then? How the hell was he able to be able to sustain 4.5k? Maybe I'm not dodging enough. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> like, I, I thought this, I still had my smoke screen active, but I, I think it wore off and he was able to finish me off. Oh. All right. Well, I'm gonna go off now. I'll be back. Uh, damn, I'm already sleeping at 6 p.m. GG. I'll be back. <laughs> Fucking G. All right. See ya. Oh wait, I was gonna do realm versus realm. All right. Where is realm versus realm? Or realm war? What the hell? This is already full. Alright, let's try this. I don't know what happens. Why do I need 250 gear score to do this though? That's kind of weird. Is this a PvE st instance? Do I need 250 gear score? Wait, what the fuck? What is this? Lieutenant Commander. Whoa. This definitely looks like some pretty weird shit. Oh, there was only 200 people or 20 people here. It's already a clusterfuck. What the fuck? Wait, wasn't there only 20 people here? Why is this such a clusterfuck? Also, oh, my FPS is like zero now. I have two, 230 points. Holy fuck.
What the heck, man? How many people do they have? It doesn't, does it tell? Does it say that anywhere? I read 20 when I joined. I think I'm just getting wrecked. Also, can I disable this? This is kind of annoying. There we go. Oh wait, this guy took is taking a lot of damage. What the hell? Wait, how how the hell come he was taking so much damage? He didn't die. You can't use skills. Is this actually gear balanced or what's going on? Why am I doing so much damage to these guys? This guy's not dying right now. Assist, I think? Yeah, I got an assist. What is this? Should I be killing this? What, what, what level are you? 36. Dang. Wait, what? Are you killing this? Portable ballistic gun. What the fuck? I just today? died instantly. Wait, what's it? Say? What time today does the beta close? I have no idea. Dang. So you only have like 3 hours to play or something? I've been playing for 2.5 hours. Or 2, two hours 50 minutes. Okay, I'll see you next week, bro. Alright, see ya. This UI is so crowded, though. I wish I can just like close some of you, some of these UI elements. What if I... Okay. That doesn't really do anything, but I'm also like not gonna die. There's no way I die here, right? Hmm. I mean, I can just run away. I can just run into here, I think. Wait. Is he able to hit me across the barrier? The fuck? Oh, does he hit me across the barrier? Wait, how did he evade that? DPS? Hmm... This guy's not taking any damage, never mind that he died. 
I got points for it, at least, but I don't think I got the kill. Alright. At least people are dying. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I got that kill. Honor point. I only got one honor point? Wait, if I only got one honor point, how are people getting like 2k honor points? How are some people getting like 2k honor points? But I'm only getting one per right now. Okay, that's probably gonna get me killed. Not enough like, what is this? Unable to perform operation. I don't satisfy the realm condition. Oh, that's probably gonna get me killed. I'm not careful. Fuck, oh, how am I getting hit? God damn it. I wonder what happens to my DPS all of them right here. Damn, that did nothing. That did not work in my favor at all. And now what? Now what are they, they gonna do? <laughs> Just run away into stealth. It's actually easy to run away in this game. I feel like. But what am I supposed to do here? Just peel someone? Oh fuck. I guess I just drag people in? Like, I'm getting healed at least. How am I supposed to get up there, though? Can I get up there? Oh, it's pretty hard. Hmm. Maybe I go from this side instead. What is... What are, are these people? Wait, what is this? Are these players? And why- if they are players, what are they doing here? Not enough stamina. Wait, is this like another warfront? I should be... Looking at? Like it- that's not the only place where people are fighting. There's also this side. Hmm. Okay, and as soon as they fight back, he runs away. Wait, what? What was that? And I lost equipment durability. Oh shoot. Hey Wayne. What's up? I'm driving right now, bro, but like, bro, I made four hundred dollar profit and I made it and I put it in yesterday. Yeah, congrats, Ben. It's going up right now. Ben 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 Ben's making profit he's making more profit than me though, because he put it he, he bought it. He bought it earlier. I yeah, bought it at three thousand five hundred, he bought it at three thousand three hundred, but Yeah, congrats, ben. man. Yeah. I try to help you, bro. You gotta get into investing, bro. Alright, congratulations. Proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta invest, Wayne. Maybe one day, maybe one day I'll give you 1% of my money, bro. That's like a million dollars. <laughs> yeah, good job, man. <laughs> you do that. Alright, bro. Alright, bro. I'm, right, I'm, I'm buying the 3090. I'm buying the 3090, bro. The 3090, bro. The 
Yeah. Must charge brands with another skill to use. Can it unlock? Let me try unlocking that real quick. I wonder what that would do. Each time... Oh wait, I didn't unlock it. There we go. Bro, what's going on? Or is this being overwhelmed? What the hell was that? Is that an ulti? Damn, what are we supposed, even supposed to do there? And how did I lose all my HP immediately? But it looks like they have every single fort, so we're just losing right now. Shit. Maybe I should actually be like flanking or something. I don't even know. There's an obstacle between you and the target. Like, they have this fort, right? They have every force. How is that possible? What if I just come... Wait, what? What are... Why aren't they like... This faded out color? What am I being hit by right now? Ah, huh? I'm just inting. What the fuck? What if I sneak even further back? Go like all the way over there, maybe. Can I like solo capture? Or is that not how this works? Actually, wait. There are still people spawning all the way from back here. Where are they spawning from? I don't think I can solo capture, actually. Yeah, this, this thing has 200k HP. So, like you, so you literally can't push by yourself. Which is kind of bad, though. Because it's just damage, it's just the numbers game. Wait, what the fuck? How did you do 1.2k damage?
Hmm. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's just like, if you have more numbers, you can just push, and if you don't, you can't push. Because you can't, like, make any plays by yourself, or even, like, with a small, uh, small team. So it just becomes all about numbers. You can't, like, strategically have a small group flank. There's no, like, flex team, like on BDO. DPS the fort. Alright, at least we got that. Now what happens? Okay, we capture the fort now. Yeah, that's that seems to be the only way. What are all these things? Are these like their corpse? Pretty gruesome. I think I killed one person, or maybe someone else assisted. I got 200 points, or I'm at 4,000 now. Whatever that means. Oh shit, I'm not even at tier 1, at least 5,000 to even get tier 1. That's actually really bad. I guess I should go help on the other side to attack instead of defending this. Right? And these are the lieutenant commanders we have to... Well, eventually, the achievement that wants us to kill. Is that? And there's so much damage right now. I'm just doing no damage. I don't know how I did 800 on that other guy though. Hmm. How long do we have? We have like 14 minutes until this ends. 15 minutes. So we're definitely gonna lose this. So I should actually just. Try and get like 500 more points before this ends. Wait, what the fuck? What? What? What actually just happened? What the heck was that? Get a kill there, maybe? Okay, well, I got 200. Someone died. I don't even know who died, but someone did, apparently. 
Oh, and someone else has died again. I'm like getting more points just pressing random attacks in the groups of people than I am actually like comboing anyone. Playing or and playing smart. Literally. I just got like 600 points just like that, or like 800. Just pressing random skills in groups. Also, what are these things? How do people get those? Wait. Wait. Reforge rune slots. Hold up. Let me let me see something here. This slot can be equipped with the assault rune stone. If you don't want it to be replaced, click the slot to activate the lock function. Yes, that's what I thought. You can change the rune slot. Yep, I was right. There's no way they let you just like have to trash the equipment. There has to be a way to change the rune slot. It looks like there is. What the fuck is going on here? Bro. What can I even do? What do I even do in this situation? Can I attack these guys? Is there any point? Do I get anything out of attacking these guys? Well, they didn't even die, like, they were taking no damage. Hmm. Not doing so hot right now. Oh, that guy took like 1k. But even despite taking 1k, he was... didn't really die at all. Try one of their mana, man, but hmm. Nine minutes. Okay, what? What? How? I'm so confused, what even happened just then?
Just spam attacks and someone's gonna die. Yeah, I, I just, I just like got more points doing that than the past five minutes. This is pretty mean right now. Oh, and they took back the uh, stronghold too, or whatever that's called, the tent. They took back the fort. Um, I guess this guy seems to be alone. But no, he he got, gets back. Okay, scrap. DPS. One honor point. Another honor point. Another honor point. Nice. <laughs> Some guy saying Realm War is fucking dumb in the chat. In-game chat. You know, he might not be wrong. Okay, are you kidding me? I lost the XP during Realm War? Hold on, hold on. I lost the XP. What? How did I lose the XP? Why am I losing the XP in PvP? This makes no sense. Oof, the world chat feedback is not good right now for this game. People complaining about lag. And it's everything, I guess. Well, at least like my FPS is playable. Like I don't think it's 60, but it seems playable. But and but I am also on max graphics. Oh, what did I just die to? People want the Unreal Engine 4 upgrade. Well, I don't think this game's gonna be an upgrade to Unreal Engine 4, it's not really that simple. You actually pretty much have to rewrite it, almost everything. Well, not almost everything, like, I guess you can keep some things, but a lot of rewrites for sure. And, and we lost. Well, I got Fighter's Medal. So you definitely need like a team dedicated to doing the port, and it will take uh, be a lot of expenses. So that was just a complete loss. We won this one apparently. No wait, yeah, we won this one. Well, that's kind of confusing. Win this in blue, even though we're red. Like maybe it should actually be the realm color. So red won. And here. Wait, you can blow the bungo to receive assistance from the dragon? What the fuck does that mean? Okay, so I guess that's it, right? Like, this is uh, already full. And that's just it. And all that 
It's something you can only do once every seven days. Hmm. I mean, it was somewhat underwhelming, to be fair. But it also just feels like, feels like uh, range and numbers just ruled supreme right there. Oh wait, what the heck? I had all of these boxes. Fine, let's have multiple level 2 runes in these boxes that I didn't even realize I had. Alright. So there's no reason... Not to use this one instead, right? Because this one I have way more attempted enhancement times chances. But let's actually see something right right here. Let's say I remove this rune. And then I go to the rune slot reforger. I wanna reforge this rune. Wait, no. I want to reforge this one. I'm gonna feed it this one. So, 25% chance. This lock can be equipped with Fate Runestone. If you don't want it to be replaced, click the slot to activate the lock. But I do want it to be replaced. So I wanted to replace this slot. Instead of fate, I want something different. Would you like a fresh start? What? What is it? Um yeah, this this is kind of useless. Like this is what 2% chance to drop 9 meteors when defeating an enemy. Way too low of a chance, doubles the chance to activate the first line attribute. You have equipment with it increases the damage to deal. And the increased damage you take in exchange for returning the item drop rate. This is like PvE. This is like all drop rate increase stuff. And this is increased drop rate the XP gain, increased skill attribute points. Well, I mean that's nice, but like not worth 33. Wait, I guess equipping this you give plus nine to everything, but you have to like go thirty-three into faith. Just to get plus nine to everything else, which is kind of not that good. The, the, the rule of fate skill. <laughs> Wait, what? Literally RNG? You can use a skill that has a chance to silence you for two seconds, increase the damage you take? I guess you can actually just apply RNG in your combat. Rule of fate skill. Resets remaining cooldown of all skill or increased cooldown. Damn, I feel like if you're a heavy gambler, this is the way you go, but that's so scuffed. Alright, so I definitely want to reroll this away. But what happens now? Wait, did we lose the realm war? No way, we want the run more. Huh, okay. What are you Did I get anything for winning the run more? Well, supposedly we get Fighter's Medal, but I don't see that anywhere. Can be oh, here's some Fighter's Medal. What? Would you like a fresh start? Anyways, I guess we'll look at that later, but... Let's try this. Register to consume. So the consumed equipment will be lost, and the rune stone to the equipment will be removed. And then we'll change the rune slot. Oh. Do you have equipment with rune slot to Wait. But that just actually changes. Wait, no. Keep or change? 
Yes, I do want to change. Oh, okay, that's actually good. So I can... So basically, it consumes the equipment and changes it to the uh, rune slot that of the equipment consumed. And in case it fails, I can actually like decide whether to keep it or change it. So that's actually really good. So I don't have to get a new piece of equipment just for that. And in fact, that means that if I have an equipment without a bad, with a bad rune slot, but with good enhancements, and I get another piece, I might want to be careful and just think twice whether I want to uh, discard the other one. But before I dismantle the equipment, I have to. I want to double check and look to see whether the uh, item itself might have a rune that I want instead. Okay. Um, so let's try upgrading the slots and try to get some effects. So I think, thinking like maybe I want, I heard protection is good, but the salt seems to just be good for damage in general. What does control do? Okay, so I get more prick when they're stunned. I get more prick when they're frozen. Get more crit when they're knocked back, we get more crit when they're airborne. Um, increase the price. What? The price? What do we increase the price? The fuck? What, what kind of translation is that? Doubles the duration. Does that, does that mean range? And what is first line concussion, ice formation, shock, and coercion co 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 effect, or whatever? Increase the critical hit power of the first line concussion, ice formation, shock, coercion effects by 20% for 5 seconds. Yeah, I don't know what any of these means. Does that mean the first CC? Hmm, when using a skill that removes crowd control effect, an explosion of ice inflicts a maximum of 5 enemies within the 5 meter radius. So when you get out of CC, you actually freeze the enemy. I mean, that's actually not bad. 10% chance to drop a bomb. It's not really that good. But, it is, but I can imagine it being pretty annoying. You just randomly damage trade, and then it just suddenly CCs them. Similarly with this one. Oh, longer stuns. Longer freezes. Applies a knockdown to a max of 5 enemies within 10 meter range upon successfully activating. So when you activate the stiff or knockback, it also applies a knockdown? What? That's interesting. And then longer stun. Wait. No, after they're knocked down, it applies a stun afterwards. Okay. That's weird. Increased damage taken to crowd control target. Heals 80 power rider as nature damage to crowd control target. Some of these... So these ones are all really good for comboing, I feel like. Increase the skill cooldown crowd control targets. I silence to all five enemies. Creates a lightning orb that spins you around for five seconds. Mm. So that's just the new skill that instantly lets you silence people. 
This is what? Oh, it's just a skill when someone hits you. Or it's a skill when it... It's a skill when someone hits you, it reflects and stuns them? What's this 30 second cooldown? And this is a skill that applies knockdown to a max of 5 enemies. And it, oh, and it ignores all control immunity. Huh. The fact that these skills ignore immunity, I feel like can be pretty useful against some of those classes. But let's see. Why do people prefer other runes? Because definitely I remember Dante was saying protection is the way to go. But so far in 1v1, like, in the duels I've had, being able to negate their crowd control immunity feels like, uh, has pretty good utility to me. Do you have equipment with rune slots to re-grant? So we also have... Lightning Bolt each time rear attack succeeds, and uh, each time enemy is hit, so that's good for DPSing CC targets. Um... Oh yeah, I have no idea what this means. Yeah, I have no idea what that means. Increase all damage, healing. Okay. So it doubles the damage of the third line, Stalker. What, what does it mean when it says like first line, third line? Like this translation is kind of confusing to me. Would you like a fresh start? Doubles the damage of the third line, Stalker. Find weakness and judgment and attributes, lightning bolt effects. Increase the cooldown. Oh, I get it now. Of the first line, ruthless critical damage and dominate. Critical damage, yes. But this one buffs the effect of this one. So now, so I have this increase the damage of all healing, increase all damage and healing by eight uh, eight percent for eight seconds when I hand hit a critical hit, and then. This increases the power by 50%, so instead of just 8%, it's like, what, 12%? And then similarly here, I can double the damage of the fine weakness, or decrease the cooldown. Wait, this has a cooldown? Oh, it does. Hmm, but not that big of a deal. Or it can be an AoE. And then this one, afterwards, I can do... Activate sweeping through around you upon entering combat. That's not too useful. Each time an attack succeeds while you're low on HP. Um. Well, you have to end basically to do this. Activate sweeping right, when rare strike succeeds from more than twelve meters away. Well, that's also not happening. How are you going getting rear strike on someone from 12 meters away? Actually, these are super hard to activate. Like, you have to either... Like, for this one, you have to be attacking while your HP is less than 50%. So I guess this is good for Arena. Because you can't exactly heal as my class anyways. Or as Assassin. And then... But it's only at 25%. And it has a one second cooldown. And then let's see, accumulate the fortune, increase the power of all skills by 10. I mean, that's that's pretty good. Just the passive buff. Increase the damage healing of the first hit of every skill by 35. Ooh. First hit. Are some skills multi hit? Or are they all, or maybe like this skill? It would just be really good. Maybe? 
Hmm, that I'm not actually sure how that works. And if no critical hit damage is triggered, increases critical hit rate by 10% until critical hit is active. One sec. Right, so it's actually not too bad. Pretty much guarantees a crit once within 10 hits. But I don't know if it's worth 48 points. And increase damage by 4% for one hour each time you defeat an enemy player. Like, that's actually also pretty good if you like. Like, the more enemies you kill, the stronger you become. Yeah, I don't think... Like, I feel like... A lot of these aren't worth 48 points. And, especially, and not only that, but it also because you can only choose one level 6. Like, it's good on its own, but not when you consider the 48 points and the fact that you can't choose anything else for the, for the level 6. And then, what do we have in support? So I can heal myself when attacking. Grants a debuff that increases incoming damage to the enemy. But like... This isn't exactly support. I mean, healing myself is... And debuffing the damage they take. I mean, that's good for other people, it's also good for myself. Healing to allies. Receive 30% of the healing when using healing skills. Okay, but that's not for me, I don't have healing skills. Removes the harmful effect from the target when using healing skill. Okay, so these are definitely fully support. Increased by critical hit rate when any effect is applied to allies other than myself. Wait, what? Okay, so so the uh, ones on the six room points are all for support classes then. Because none of these really apply to me. When attacking an enemy, grants 2% chance to create the Spear of Assault. Um, okay, that's that's pretty supportive. Spear of protection, but actually that's not even really practical, because it grants a spear and the ally has to go in and pick it up, and that's not really happening too often in large scale, I feel like. Like, no one's really gonna see this. And this just makes that stronger. Um... Oh, and this is just the passive that increases stats. Recovers energy. Detects an enemy. Well, this is just a hard counter to stealth, I guess. Still can't use... Yeah, you could use them, but... Uh, I don't think it's really practical. Like, probably people are just going to pick them up by accident rather than purposefully trying to communicate and uh, combo with them. And here you have create a spherical barrier. What the heck? What is this PA? Is this protected area? Why are you looking for me? Total magic damage immunity. Well, I guess it's not as strong as P PA because it's only against magic damage. Oh, but this is physical, so you combine both barriers and you have protected area. And it's, I guess this is a summon. But actually, I wonder, like, weaken. Like, this isn't exactly bad to have if you just have three points. 
Wait, just the... Just increase all incoming damage. To an enemy when you attack them. Or just heal yourself when you attack when you attack someone. So like I don't feel like they're like I don't I don't know. Maybe maybe eventually you kind of want to min-max, I guess. And maybe if you min-max, you don't have enough points for this. But if you do have like three spare points, it's not exactly Objectively bad to just get a five percent damage increase, I guess. Have you gotten used to this place? And then protection. So we yeah uh, we have this one, reduce damage taken when I'm CC'd. What's next? So this is the barrier. But the thing is, how do I raise my critical hit? Like I guess I can. Um no, this is only. Yeah, see, I guess if I combine that with. The guaranteed crit, then that would be pretty good, but... Like, these things don't exactly... Increase my critical hit, it just makes it stronger when I crit. And then if I combine them with this, then it forces all hits to be crit. But then I, I need to... Put 20 skill points into just this one skill. And I don't know if that's worth in terms of min maxing it either. But if I don't do that, then really. These such if they don't really apply to me. Um, and then what do we have? Recovers HP when I deal damage. Wait, recovers HP when I deal damage. Versus your ally when attacking enemies? Isn't that kind of the same thing? Wait, huh? What? Aren't those basically the same thing? I don't get it. So this one, 20 power as healing to allies and myself. Well, now, 5 seconds. 10 power. Okay, I guess this is shorter cooldown, but only to myself, maybe? Recovers HP when I take damage. Okay, so that's just like effectively a passive damage reduction. Because I take damage and I heal it back up immediately, so. Well, not immediate, I guess. Like, seems like over two seconds or something. But still. Every two seconds, I don't move. Well, that's definitely not for me. More like a mage class, maybe. Increase critical hit resistance and critical hit damage reduction. Not too useful because only if I'm taking a critical hit. Just decrease damage from projectile attacks in general. Hmm. I feel like only certain skills qualify as projectile attacks. I think. I don't think like ranged attacks from elementalists really qualify as projectile. And then trap detection. Okay, I haven't really seen anyone using traps at all. Perseverance. Decrease all damage taken, each time damage is taken. Okay. I mean, that's not bad, I guess. I mean, like, definitely gonna be taking damage. And the more damage I take, the less damage I take. <laughs> um. Pierce armor. Deals physical damage each time the enemy blocks my attack. Hmm. Let me... Kind of a hard counter to Warlord, I guess? Sharp Eyesight automatically attacks the target with a homing projectile each time I evade an attack. Ah, I mean, technically that's good for Assassin. Because if I smokescreen and they try to attack me, they're basically damaging themselves. Yeah, like, like if I just... Damage trait anyone in smoke screen is just guaranteed themselves taking damage if I use this one. Oh wait, but no, it has a 5 second cooldown, so that's actually not that good. The smoke screen lasts 4 seconds, so that's that means it's only gonna activate once during smoke screen. It's not really a reflect. And 2% chance to attack the target 
that damaged me was a homing projectile. What? Are you eating well at least? It's just the hard counter to projectiles? But only 2% chance? That's... That's kind of weird. Oh, no wait. Oh, no. The projectile itself is homing. Not when they attack me with a homing projectile. Okay, that, that makes more sense. So every time someone attacks me, there's a 2% chance I CC them. I wonder why that's a protection and not a control then. In a shield of protection, there's a 10% chance to conjure a shield that would hit. Uh, decrease damage taken and absorb damage. When you're hit, only 10% of my HP remains. So yeah, that's like the dead nurse thing. Taking magic damage. Only hard counter to magic only, I guess. And then there's this. Hmm. Then what was Awakening? Awakening was like the trade-off thing. Yeah, there's like the one upside, one downside. Shock removal. Have you gotten used to this place? Hmm. I actually feel like I don't want to put too much into assault because some of these are like not really that good. Like at thirty three, this is just so so niche. Like only works when my HP is fifty percent or less. And with only 25% chance to remove a barrier. But like maybe getting up to like 21 can be somewhat useful still. Because I can go with find weakness. And then just combo them. Since I combo people with CCs and stuff. So this would actually be good. Because I have airborne on this one. And I have airborne on this one. But I don't know, control actually some of them sounds pretty useful, but maybe there's something I'm just not getting. Like just straight up critical hit increase on enemies that are uh, CC'd. Like just straight up. Yeah, like just straight up uh, more effective. It looks like you're very familiar with the weapon. Um And then even this one. Like if I like when I recover, it also freezes them. And just straight up CC increase. But like maybe CCs doesn't really matter too much because they can break out of it so easily. So maybe that's why control isn't that good. And instead I want damage. Hmm. Maybe let me put let me put like twenty one points into assault first. Maybe if I if I have enough to put twenty one points into assault, and kind of see if, where it goes from there. And then I probably want to keep... Let me keep some control runes just so I can experiment. I'm gonna discard all the fate ones though. Um... Let me discard the fate ones. Take this out.
put the upgrade. Let me keep the control. Also, I guess balance is just useless. Let me discard the balanced ones. Alright, how many room points do I have now? I only have 14. What the fuck? Still a long way from 21. Alright, let me put more in. Um, Max this one. Discard the balance. This one. And maybe I can just like upgrade them both at the same time. Yeah. Damn, they should let me skip animation. Alright. How much am I at? 18. I need... Four more. Wait, three more. No. Yeah, three more. So I need three more. But that's gonna be harder, I think, right? Just now, in order to get level 3, so let's say I wanted to get this one. I need 14 powders. And to upgrade, I need another one that's the same level. So I can't use a level 2 runestone. I actually need to use a level 3 runestone. Or, le or I actually need to use a level 2 runestone to upgrade this one to level 3. So first, I actually have to... I have to like take this balanced one, upgrade this to level two, and then take this one, combine with the balance, upgrade this to level three. And it gives me acceleration one. What the hell is that? And that gives me just one. Point. Wait, what? 1921? Oh yeah, that did, yeah. That gives me one point. Okay, so I have to do that. Do this one as well. So... Max this one. Put this one up there. Max this. And combine. Ooh, and this is only level 3, and it's already getting so... So difficult. Almost running out of powders. They might only be able to do do this this one. Yeah, I think I, I barely have enough. Combine this one and this one, and combine this one and this one. I barely have enough. Alright, and this one, just now I have exactly 21. Damn. Doubles the damage. Actually, I'll reset the cooldown. Just now, I can just DPS them and get extra damage in my DPS. That might actually be good. Um, and then meanwhile, for these other ones, well, I guess. Hmm. Wait, what is this slot again? Oh, that was a control slot. In that case, I might as well put in this one right now. It's like, it's not like I have... Yeah, I have, I have three out of six either way. I, I can keep this, and then I can put in another uh, vitality slot for now. Why do I even have two protections anyway? Oh, because of my uh, Verona thing. Hmm. Okay. I'm at 191. I'm gonna go try Battle Arena, but first I will be right back. Um, let's try this. Try this new build. This is set. Oh wait, I can actually try this and see how that complements 
the critical hits I get. I have more skill points now. Hmm. Okay, let's try this. One ninety one gear score now. Damn, that realm were actually recommended two fifty. How am I gonna get two fifty? I'm nowhere near that. Still, I'm surprised. Two fifty? You've already two fifty? All right. Up at night, Twitch TV. Also assassin, it looks like. Okay, he already he immediately he immediately evaded. Yep, I'm here. Huh, that seems like it's got some effect. Going for the ranged play. Whoa, shit, I fucked up my combo. not doing too well. I'm doing a bit more damage, but not noticeably more. Oh, but I was also using my right mouse button attack, not my left mouse button. Let me try using my uh, LMB attacks more. Also, what even is my stat that it gave? Reaper Cycle. Oh, well, he's gonna stay in there. I'm gonna stay here. A special effect is active. There we go. That. What? Hmm. Just demonstrate me. What? I have not been doing any damage to him at all. going on no damage right now what is that what is he trying to do all right come in let me do the smoke screen nope into the second cc nope he, he was crowd controlling me right there I think... Nope. 
He's just immune that entire time, I guess. Hmm, okay, that, that was bad. Can I break the shield? Nope. Just gonna evade, and then into the stun, humble. Fuck. Oh god, that. Into that. Into stun. Okay, that was bad. Into mm, nope. He wasn't me right there. Okay, I'll be bait. Hmm, I think I'm just gonna die. Okay, I'm just gonna die. Hmm. He's healing so much. What the heck? 11k damage, and he didn't even go below 50%. Bro, how am I supposed to beat that? Like, what? How does he not die with 11k damage being dealt to him? Oh my god. Can't believe have 37 kills. Rank 1 has 78 though, so... Not even anywhere close. It only does 40 damage per hit, right? But now nah, I would rather go for more attacks. I think I think I do more attacks. I think I can get like three hits in. Maybe if it's with three hits, that's gonna be better than doubling the damage. I think. Could be wrong. I don't know if I don't know if my hits are under zero point one second or not. That's the thing. I think I think actually zero point one second means every hit does it, but then that's gonna be more than double because I I attack way more than two times in the zero point one in the zero point five seconds I think. Another match. Damn, how does that guy have 87 wins or 78 wins? Is he playing a lot or is he just that good? Because I'm definitely just bad. I'm just getting wins because of playing a lot, not because I'm actually doing well. Alright, new person. Oh, is he also a sapper? Oh, he's elementalist. Hmm, okay. He's... Wait, what the heck? Wait, what the fuck? How? 1k? And didn't do any damage to him? What the fuck? Yo.
How are some people doing so much more damage compared to others? It's not even like a little more, it's just like more than double the amount of damage. This gives me acceleration, whatever that means. This guy, uh oh, it's just that, uh, guy again. Hmm. He pulls me and I pull him in. There we go. He breaks out with that. Wait, what? How did he get out? Oh, I fucked up. Break shield defense. Okay. Still doing well. Hmm. Okay, I don't want to be pulled into that. can do that. I'm just gonna stay out of it, I think. Okay, combo. Nope. And then, might be able to finish him off here. Combo. Hmm. Yeah, he's still alive. Okay, never mind. There we go. 7.9k kills this guy, but not the other guy. He has like an 11 can, it was still tanking. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright. I feel like I'm seeing familiar faces now. People who are also doing 1v1 arenas all day. Hmm, new player. New challenger has arrived. Wait. Oh yeah, I don't have my poison. Actually, I wonder if I should keep my poison. You can't use oh. Dodge that. Oh wait, that's just straight up immunity. There's the stun. And now I combo. I dodge out of that. Go for a dodge. Oh, oh, wait. He got me. Oh. Into the... Oh, shit. Fuck, oh, I forgot. He was immune. He's immune when he does that. Go for the immunity. Into his stun. Oh, fuck. I didn't have enough DP. Right now I do. 
Into that, into that. Second? Nope. Didn't get the second. I'm in. First the stun. Into the second. Into the another one. Reset. Sheet. I think. Can I kill him? Again? Nope. He got that. He gets that. I don't. I don't want to go in there. I'm out. Wait. Fuck. Let's, okay, finish him off. I feel like if I can kill them, then I stand a better chance of winning. Hey Sassu, what's up? You can't use skills. Okay, so he's just gonna start in the immunity. Oh, let's see. What's how's this gonna work here? Engage? That. Dodge out. I right, got the CC. Oh, okay. I don't want that. Wait, do I not have? Wait, what? I couldn't combo. Shit. Okay, I'm, I think I'm not in a bad spot right now. I just need to finish him off. Dodge out. Okay. I got him. Yeah, I think that was an elementalist. I think, um, like, the class I was fighting earlier before this one was like a warlord. And I think warlords just has more HP. They're kind of like the barbs of PWI. Or he's a barb or BM, and they just have more HP in general, I think. I think like that's just one of their base stats, they just get more out of their gear. More HP stats. Yami. Oh, the Warlord had 5k? Hmm. Honestly, I wasn't really paying attention. I'm just looking at the HP bar above their head. Oh, this one is... Since another assassin. Go for the CC. We CC. No more CC. In you. Nope, that didn't work. Shit. Not enough stamina. Wait. Not enough stamina. That was uses the counter attack skill. I've not seen that before. Unavailable 
Okay. I'm gonna dodge out of that one. Oh, he was crowd controlling me after that. I think. Not enough mm. Yeah, that's that didn't really work. I was taking too much damage from them. Hmm. How did he heal all the way back up though? That's what I don't get. Some people seem to be able to heal their HP back. The Elementalist at 8k? He felt super squishy though. Hmm. So that I'm not too sure of. Like I fought Elementalist. Who was just absorbing all of the damage I'm doing. Like their HP never even dropped below like 90%. Whereas that Elementalist was actually healing pretty decently. Yeah, I don't know how people heal. Because you can't use pots. So it's definitely not that. In fact, I don't think any of my skills heal either. Okay, so this guy... This guy knows what's up. Oh, oh he didn't get pulled in. Gonna dodge that. Oh, okay. Wait, I didn't have enough... Uh, I didn't generate any CP. I can't combo him. No, I should now have some points. Oh, fuck. Let's, let me just... Oh. Get into that. Alright, let me just wait. Wait for my cooldown. Oh, okay. No, I think you predict. Wait, did that reset my CP? Or what happened? Well, I thought I had CP to go for the combo. There's arena exclusive potions? Hmm. Is there really? Because I'm not aware of that. I have not I have not seen anything. Because all I know is this is how I enter arena. And that's it. Like there like it's not even like BDO where there's a specific place you can uh, enter and then get paused separately. Like this is just it. So if there is, then I have no idea. I guess we can look around the city. Enchanter. Enchanting. Blue magic stone. You add random stats. Uh, that's not it. General goods merchant. No, these are just regular pots. Let me join the match first. Where's my opponent? Here he is. I forgot who, who this guy was. Oh, he was a warlord. Alright, he already wasted his immunity, so I can't do this. 
but I can't go for a second one. Alright, so reset. Oh shit, nope, that was bad. Pick it? Nope. I might be able to get a sun in? Oh, wait, what? How did he do that? Wait, what is going on? How did he get out of that one? I'm confused. Okay, I don't want- I want to get down to this one. Okay. Stun? Nope. Evade? Still defense? I think I can get a stun, re combo. Nope, he got out. Alright, I'm just gonna get out as well. Stealth into reset. Done. Okay. Let me. I, okay, I don't want to get caught again. If I get caught again, that would be bad. I just need to finish them off. And I think this is my chance. Shit. Okay, there we go. 7 7k damage. I think I lost to this guy the first time maybe. Or did I beat him the first time? Um, but yeah, I'm not really seeing any NPC specific to the arena. Fortress shop. That was sort of realm war. Yeah, this is for the round war. I guess we can go back to the foothold. <laughs> the loading screen is bad. I mean, loading screens are pretty generic always. But I think they did that because they want people to know how to like it's it's like an informer show, you know. They're trying to promote their own game, what's in their own game, so people don't quit. Alright, runes, some rune stuff, equipment upgrade. No, that's for enhancing. Wait, actually, no, that's for equipment upgrade. That's for like. And that's for like going from blue to purple. Enter into any of these buildings? Nope. Come take a look if you want to be quick. These are for mounts. Skill attributes. Wait, what? I actually don't know what these are. He moves fast. Oh, wait, I think I remember yesterday you we were saying we could go and uh, buy skill books. Maybe it's this. Looks like a leaflet. Yeah. A sign. Treasure maps. And here is the event. Um, well, the close beta boutique merchants. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just see here. We have the quest clerk, dungeon gate, event merchant, mount merchant, skill attribute, general goods, clan good, rare item, boutique, accessory, rune slot, enchanter, enhancement, upgrade. Yeah, I don't I don't see anything specific to battle right now. Unless it's hidden somewhere. Yeah, that I'm not sure. And somehow I'm with rank 11 now. Been spamming this too much, I guess. Maybe I can get rank 10. If I win two more times. Oh, this guy knows what's up. Let's reset the CC. Get out of that. And then the stun. Oh shit, I, I'm, I failed the CC reset. I think I got too greedy. There we go. And now he gets away. Right, he says crowd control immune. Oh, I'm I'm immune, so. Oh, I didn't stun him. I think I'm just... Oh, okay, he fucked up. Wait, what? Did his stun beat my stun? Hmm... Wait, what? How was he dodging? Oh, fuck. Okay, this is the last chance. He dodged my stun, I think. If I got the stun, maybe I could have had it.
All right. I think I'm gonna get rank ten, and then um, take a break because been playing too long. And mainly, I wanted to see what all the PvP options are in Elio. And I feel like I think we've seen everything so far. But maybe there's other ones that I haven't seen yet. Actually, I'll take a quick look at Google to see if there's anything I haven't seen yet. If I can win two more times. Listen. Oh. Those are assassin. Wait, what? Oh, they can speak mine. What the fuck? I'm already at half HP. Those are assassins that sometimes can't CC them for some reason. I don't get it. Oh, wait. And I ran out of CP. Damn. What is that? What is that purple skill, really? Like, I don't think it's that. It kind of looks like that, but... It's this one? But when would be the best time to use that, though? I feel like I need all of my skills. Maybe it's just a different style. Like if you're a ranged assassin, you use that or something, I don't know. I, I can't think of anything to give up. Unless I give up this. But if I give up this, then how am I going to CC? I literally have one CC if I give up this. Hmm. 
You can't use skills. Also, I wish there's a better way to sprint in the, than W twice. Stun. Okay, gets out. Breaking out of my combo so easily. I don't think I get the mirror matchup much. Wait, why am I on zero loom this energy? What? Wait, what is going on? Killed him this time. Or is that a different guy? Maybe that was a different guy. I wasn't paying attention to the name, I just thought I was a, an assassin. Still rank 11. Wait, what? I thought I got one more kill. Wait, wasn't didn't I? Wasn't I already at 40? Okay, so I'm at 40. No wait, is this outdated? It says I'm at 42 now. Huh? Fuck. Okay. 
He, I think he countered. You know, I think that would, he used his counter skill, but that doesn't really CC. That just did a lot of damage to me. Hmm. I'm gonna try one more. Oh, wait, but he's immune to crowd control right there. Get him like that? Yep, there we go. This is the combo I need. That's the combo I needed. 6.7k. The fact that after you recover, you're immune to CC for a bit makes it really hard to like follow up immediately. I have to remember that. I like to just immediately follow back up, but you can't because you're actually immune to CC on recovery. Alright, so I guess I'm still rank 11. Well, that's fine though. Alright, let's uh, let me take a quick look to see what other forms of PvP I might be missing. But those are some about done here. Um, QEP content. So, 200 players. I think that was the Realm War we just did. Maybe. That was like 100 versus 100. So I did that. Hmm. Worse between realm and the dimensional portal. Wait, the dimensional portal? No, no, but that's PvE. That's whatever. Between servers. Well, there's only one server right now, so we're not going to see that. Um... It's no. Elyon, I guess all PvP on farms. Let's see. What else do we have? 
Yeah, that that's not PvP. You know, overcome the differences in gear. Ah, uh, no, that's useless. Nope. That's not it. Mm, that's not it. Um, oh yeah, like I guess... Technically, there are three other game modes I haven't done yet. And that's going to be these game mode. So maybe I should actually try one of this. What happens if I go in right now? This is like a battle royale game mode. What the heck? Immune to crowd control. Wait, what? Wait, what is this? The demon has been defeated. The demon has been defeated? What the fuck? What is going on? What the hell? The demon has been defeated. I guess these are these are players. Oh, it's something doing no damage to them. How am I supposed to beat this? You can't use Fuck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bro, this guy takes in the zero damage. Wait, what? What the heck? That was so scuffed. What kind of game mode was that? How many times can I do this? Is this do this repeatedly? Wait, but there's only six players? I feel like it's way more than six players. Well, that's super scuffed. What? What? What well, is this instant death? You know what? Be right back real quick.
equipment with rune slots to regrant? You want to do some enchanting? You've come to the right place. is enchantment. Trust in the power of the moon. Stone attributes were saved. Wait, was I muted the whole time? What the heck? That was just pretty bad. My bad. Sorry about that. Alright, we move to CC. I have 221 gear score. Let's see what happens. It's not doing any damage though. What? How did I hit so hard? What? These item levels are doing nothing for me. I'm just doing something wrong. This is not working at all for me. Stamina. 
I guess I killed this random guy. I see what's taking damage from the fire. Where's my damage? Hmm. The combo, combo. Damn, my damage is just miserable. Done again? Nope. Damn, that was multiple combos right there. Did nothing. Maybe it is like Twizzy said. Maybe assassins don't do damage. I hate this. This looks like my screen's bugging out. I hate that fire effect. Is this going for the run strat? It's not fighting, I guess. Just going for the run. A barrier. Maybe we can take some damage. What the heck is that? What? What the fuck was that? That was so much damage. Yo, he just did like 2k to me instantly. Whereas each combo I'm doing, it's like my auto attacks are like 100s and my spin is like 300. And that is with the assault room buff. Without that, it would be even worse. What's that? Oh, fuck. Taking damage from fire. 
Fuck! I, t I lost all my HP. From the zone. Wait, it didn't even look like it was outside of the zone. But I was still taking damage. Am I good yet? No. I'm at 220 gear score, and it's not doing anything for me, so I don't think it's about gear. You know? See, I, ha I put this to plus 7. I put this to plus 7. These are all plus 7 now. <laughs> How the fuck do you swipe? There's no swiping in a beta. A special effect is active. All right, you you go at the end to see him for me and tell me how that goes. Where did he go? Oh, he was in the bush. What the heck? What is that shit? How is this? How is this outside of the zone? What? Wait, how the hell is that outside of the zone? That makes no sense. My literally, I wasn't even touching it. I'm telling you, this is the same shit that happened when I was in the treasure chest room earlier. I wasn't even touching it, and it was still counting as me being hit. I don't know if- I don't think it's decent, it's just like, the animations in this game. It's just not- like the hitbox is just bad. It doesn't match the animation. And no, I'm not doing damage. I think you missed it earlier when I took 2k damage from a single elementalist. Just instantly. Well, he, well I'm still doing like 300s to them. That's what I mean. Exactly. You're 100% correct. Is someone gonna contest this? Wait, no one's contesting this. Okay, I have attacking freeze. Can I actually kill people now? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Just okay. You think it's runes? Well, I upgraded my runes to level 3 actually. So there you go. I have a 21 in assault. 
I have three, 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 and uh, six twos. Relentless and find weakness with overload. I did a uh, 11k damage to a warlord, and he didn't die. I don't think there's an explanation for that. Other than, I'm just doing it wrong. Attack increase medium. Let's see. These thunderbolts. zone comes into play. Maybe my character is bugged? That seems like a EPW excuse. What the hell? Like how is that outside the zone? Like the zone this zone doesn't make any sense whatsoever. See, my combo isn't even really doing as much damage as this elementalist spamming random skills. <laughs> you think that's how it works? Bro. I think uh, the world of Elian might have different laws of physics. So maybe not. Yeah, well, we have mana attack, so maybe we should just have some fire resistance, well, heat resistance. Who knows? Just heat resistance in general, you know. If we have magic, why can't we have heat resistance? What even is this? All of honor? Oh, wait. As I get honor points, I can unlock these things. I didn't even know this. Well, see, elementalists do damage with fire, not heat.
Oh, but we have magical fire. When elementalists use their skills, it causes explosion and kills you from the shockwave. So I can't get any more reward from this, but I still have 152. You sure about that? All, all the skills that kill me cause explosions, so maybe that's the difference. That's why some elementals do more damage, I guess. The good players use explosion, the bad players use fire. Yeah, exactly, that's why I shouldn't have died. That's exactly what I'm saying. So I can obtain Middle of Honor. Oh, I can select which one I want to obtain towards. Oh, so I can actually choose which one I want. Do I want Protection and Fate or Support and... Oh. So of course I want this one. I have this selected, and then as I gather honor points, I start to unlock these rewards. And what's the trophy of honor? Obtaining the first victory of the day. Hmm. What is that? What is the first victory of the day? Where does it say that? Hmm, I don't see that. And then we also have these two, so I'm not going to get a chance to do this anymore, because that's only on Friday, and that level is 40, and this is 39. Hmm. So do I actually want to get to level 40? Or have I seen enough PvP to make my decision? Yes? I don't know, man. Even Twizzy isn't level 40. He's been grinding all day. Last night, I was watching him stream, and he was just doing hours of grind. I'm gonna cash out my points. I'm gonna cash out my points. Hmm. Craft a rare enhancement reset scroll. The 
ruin it as a reset squirrel. Token of Honor to Realm War participation. Wait. Most of these are from Realm Wars? Hmm. But also Honor Points rank. So it's actually pretty hard to get these gear pieces then. Oh shit, what? Increase damage by 10 and decrease damage by 10? Wait, what? That's actually such a huge effect. It's a straight up 10% damage. Wait, when did you tell me this? I don't remember you saying this. Before, hmm. Oh, that was too long ago, I guess. Wait, so it's actually kind of a waste for me to use these ones when I can be using the honor point ones. But, it's not like I'm going to farm enough honor points. One for PvP and one for PvE? Damn. Do you actually need different gear for PvE? Attendance decoration. I'll see. We need eight hundred tokens of honor. And it's true. Maybe it is optimal. If if it is optimal. How am I getting the honor points though? Or Medal of Honor, answer. Like, wait. What? No, from Token of Honor. Okay, okay. So. I need to get Medal of Honor. And by getting Medal of Honor, I get Token of Honor. And then when it's the Token of Honor, I buy the gear. It's like kind of convoluted. I guess that makes sense. Uh, but then where does honor points come in? Alright, like I, I get Medal of Honor from these ones. <clears throat> and then honor points.
But like, there's literally only one thing I can get honor points from that I use for honor point. And that is this, which isn't even that good. I think so. But the thing is, that's kind of bad though, because you can only exchange Faint Cleansing Stone for honor points. And only three times per week, so if you just do PvP, open world, you're gonna get almost nothing. Because what you want is the middle of honor, or the token of honor, not the honor points. Unless... You can convert honor point into token of honor? Honor points. My ranker effect. I have no ranker effect. Honor class, none. Oh, looks like we have a new rank one. See, the top three are all assassins, so I don't know why Twizzy says uh, assassin is bad. Um... Hmm, I guess I'm ranked in the arena now. Top 15, honor points in battle arena. What makes it the best honor class exactly? Like what make what makes a class good at getting honor points? Don't you just kill people for honor points? Mobility. Don't you have to like... Don't you have to be good at 1v1 to pick off people? Or they just like counter you when you try to pick them off? Yeah? But then, like, by that logic, how can an assassin be bad at arena? Like, if assassin is good in 1v1, they're good at in arena, right? And if they're bad in 1v1, how could they be good at picking up people? Like, that just seems... <clears throat> like, if you're good at one thing, I feel like you have to be good at the other things, too. Yeah, who cares about 2v2 and 3v3? It's all about 1v1.
But I mean... Maybe Assassin's bad at 2v2? I don't know. Well, like, why would Assassin be bad at 2v2 and 3v3? I guess because not enough damage or something. 2v2 does seem a lot more damage trading. A lot more damage rate heavy. Yeah, I can see that. Like, if you have two people grouping up together, it's hard to, like, pick them off. But if you could pick them off, then I guess... It would be fine. Hmm. Or maybe... I don't know. Got stuck on the pillar. going on? Hmm. Like if someone is good, they, they can just dodge out of this attack. Out of the shadow attack. Alright. Like, I don't feel like I have any stuns. Unless I do a long setup. Maybe I should do some 2v2s and 3v3s just to check out the uh, Medal of Honor rewards. Because I have like 150 on Medal of Honor points that I could be, could be using. In fact, I reset daily so I'm not even being efficient by not getting them. But if Assassin is really bad, then I don't know. It feels like I'm just inting in 2v2 and 3v3s then. What? I think he dodged that. There's this, there's this permanently immune to CC. I 
I mean, if I can't CC them, then what am I supposed to do? Maybe I should go for control. Build 46 control runes. Just to get that special that counters immunity. Just wanna get that. Or 48 control. Not enough battle kill. What the heck? The battle. For real? And then every, when that happens, you have to like reload the whole thing. There's Clown War. Hmm, what is Clown War? I wonder. Wait, how is he already over here? I guess he knows it's an assassin. Get out of that. The fuck? Unavailable when afflicted with a special effect. Wait, what? When afflicted with a special effect. How did he immune that? Wait for it. Wait, that was immunity. What? Why am I stunned? Okay, what? That's so confusing. Wait, so how am I supposed to... Why can't I use my movement attacks? The vines on the ground repeatedly tick fruits when they are active. Yeah, but like, why, why can't I use this attack? If I'm... I can't, it can't be used when immobilized? Wait, what? But I can't use every other attack? I just can't use this attack when immobilized? That's so weird. That's such a weird restriction. Then what, what, how did I get out of immobilized? Can I dash when immobilized? I don't know if I can use Shift W when immobilized or not. Unavailable 
Yeah, yeah I can't I can't shift W when immobilized. So what am I supposed to do there? My stuff, miss my CC. Thank this. Wait, and I and I was, uh, get the stun. Okay, he dodged out. Wait, so I can't even. Stun? What? How am I stun? Crowd controlling you when he does that. The stars out. Face. Hmm. Nope. If immobilize stops shift W, then like what are you supposed to do? Yeah, but like even my skills that's supposed to give me mobility, like. Like this skill is supposed to grant me immunity to crowd control, but not, but and it moves me when I use it. But then, like, it just doesn't do anything when I'm immobilized. Like it's supposed to move me without being affected by mo mobility. But even that, it, like, doesn't do what it says. Famous players logging in right now. Who is the famous player logging in? And Twizzy is Gunner, so him having problem with Mystic is kind of like not really applicable to my situation, I think. This mystic could just be a hard counter to Gunner, but assassins are supposed to be good at 1v1, so... Just gonna tank with the evade, dash out, and should be able to combo now. 
Wait, I missed. We can raise really some CP. Stun. Do fumble. Oh wait, he's immune right there. Don't want to do that. Oh. Wait, what? What was that? You can just dash and stun. Well, I can do that. And that break stun? No, wait. No, he was still crowd controlling me. It just didn't say. And then try that? Wait, what? Why was he evading? Huh. I'm confused right now. I get the stun, I get the stun, I get a combo here. Tank that. Get the airborne attack. Okay. Reset. Into another stun? No, it goes. She has shield defense up. Wait. That's like. Is he immune to damage from doing that? What's going on? Oh, oops, I fucked up. Oh, well, he was coming to me anyways. Do I have shield defense up? Oh, fuck. For the second hit of the kick? Nope. Already wore off. That way. He's, I guess he swapped into iron flat defense and wasn't shield defense anymore. Oh, I didn't have CP there. And kick the chicken. Reset. What do you mean I have to think outside the box? Like in what sense? Going for the stun, reset. DPS. A special effect is active. Stun? A special effect. Uh, I think that's a stun here. Yeah, it just can't kill warlords at all. Even with 11k damage, I just can't kill them. Why would Mystic counters SMO players? What does this have to do with SMO? What? And I mean, every class beats me right now, so I don't know. I don't know what you mean.
Like Warlords is immune to damage. Elementalist and Mystics of Subsorbs all damage. I don't know, I just don't think I get the mechanics of the game really. I'm just missing what, like how the game is supposed to be played. CP at the start. You can't use All right. So uh, turret. Reset. I'm just like, like I just lost all my HP. What? Well, he was CC'd. And they didn't lose anything. Get the stun? Like, what the heck? How am I supposed to beat someone if they are doing more damage to me when they're CC'd than I am to them? I don't get any of these classes. Like, bro. Like, even while he was CC, his turret was outputting more damage to me than I was outputting to him. How does that make any sense? Like, it's not like we do or have DPS fillers. Like, I'm just fill doing fillers with auto attacks, as far as I can tell. Most of my skills are used for engaging, not for DPS. This is my only burst skill. I mean, I could get rid of this, but then how am I supposed to block damage? Like, that's my only way to block damage during uh, tough situations. I don't really have any skill that's like burst damage either though. Like all of my burst damage skill uses CP anyways, so I kind of like only need one skill that uses CP. Which is the uh, obliteration skill. The only other burst skill is like... This thing, which also uses CP.
I got him with that. Got him with that. There we go. Reset. DPS. There we go. That was close. Got like 129 HP left. Like, I don't know. I'm actually going for combos, but... I feel like combos it might not even be the answer. I don't think he was really going for combos, but he was doing almost like just as well as I was. So I don't know how to think outside the box. The only other thing outside the box is like not going for combos. Your range assassin spec. Actually, if I go range assassin, then I can actually use the projection, the protection thing that gives me a. Uh... Gives me the absorption. This is technically requires that I use um, a projectile skill, which I guess if I was uh, ranged, then I would be using that. Not enough stamina. Available when afflicted with a special effect. You can't use this because you're too far. Got it. Unavailable when afflicted with a special effect. I think I can just finish them off. There we go. He's game now. I think he actually. I think um, he was probably new to the game, though. Has nothing to do with being best assassin. Because I only needed to do a three a three point seven k damage to kill him, or was it three point two? Whereas like good players they can tank like eleven K to amateurs without dying. What the heck? What was that? Right there. You can't use skills. I mean, I guess I'm just frozen now. 
Okay. Wait, they can't tell They can't do that? Wait, what? Alright, there's the stun. Regenerate. Yeah, but see, this guy is just like... Not moving, you know? He's just walking backwards and not doing anything. So I think he's like new, new to the game. And doesn't know his skills yet. No, I'm not, so, not the best assassin, not even considered good. The conflict between realms became overheated? What the hell? It's Odin's arbitration. Maybe I should go check that out. Go 1v1? Because I have to figure out how the game works. And 1v1 is the only way to do it, but... Not really having any luck. And I'm also just trying to figure out what all the PvP options are available in the game. But I think some of them already missed out. Like there was that one thing that so I can you can only do on Fridays. No, so so he's just like immune for the entire duration. But I have to get him with the stun instead. So that's gonna be hard. Cause I don't have any stuns on my on like the first hit. To get him like that. Wait, what the heck? Wait, now I can get him. Magic barrier. Yeah. But like I don't have any skills that like I can stun immediately with unless I go stealth, but that's only once every 25 seconds. So basically, if he's immune to stiff, then it's pretty hard to actually catch him. But this skill is like only stun on the second hit. Most most skills are like actually stiffs. I wanna see what this Odin's arbitration is all about. Dante, why are you trolling me? How am I good? Read the read the stream title. Yep. That's got the right idea. You're lagging? Are you on Ethernet or Wi Fi?
if you're on Ethernet, then that might be an ISV or router problem. Maybe reset the router, and if that doesn't work, contact your ISV. But if you're on Wi-Fi, then maybe uh, Wi-Fi is just bad. Maybe don't go on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi always has issues like that. Well, maybe you're on a long, the longer delay though. Like, maybe it's not that your bandwidth is bad. It's just that you have high ping. If you have high ping, then you can watch streams. But in game, you will lag. This game is a lot more ping dependent. What happens here? Wait, are we not able to kill people anymore? It was not taking any damage. Is this a safe zone now? Opposing realms cannot attack each other. Yeah, this is a safe zone now. What the heck? Why is that a thing? There's just a mechanic that stops PvP. For some reason. But world PvP is kind of like where it's at, it's just random skirmishes. And apparently BDO is actually adding back, or adding in the uh, a bounty hunting system, so... Maybe it's in response to Elyon. So the game that promotes more... Uh, Open world skirmishes might actually be the better game. What the fuck was that? It's not a fucking earthquake. But, um. Yeah, right now, like, just. Uh, open world, like, actual. Mass versus mass is not really that interesting. So skirmishes are kind of where it's at, but I feel like we got gotten way more skirmishes on Arcage than we have on Eldeon for some reason. Maybe because on Arcage there's actual reasons to go to each territory, whereas on Eldeon there's like no reason to cross over. You can just do everything just fine by staying on your side of the border. Whereas Arcage kind of forces you to go everywhere and for, uh, giving more skirmish opportunities that way. Oh fuck. I did not even see that. Not enough stamina. Wait, why is that attacking me? Isn't this my- isn't this our side? Wait, I'm confused. Isn't this our side of the border? Or oh, was that the boundary? Wait, was this, is this the border? That's not even the border, what the hell? Still far away from the border. Yeah, that, that's on our side. What? What is going on? That's literally on our side of the border. No, it's a conflict zone, but this is on our side of the border. Like, our side is red. And this is on our side, on the minimap, so why is it attacking me? What the fuck? Yeah, but like, but why are they crossing over to our side already? Isn't this supposed to be like an equal, equal conflict zone? Like, that makes no sense. 
Like it's divided down the middle. They shouldn't be able to, they shouldn't have structures on our side attacking us. But yeah, our, like Archmage actually has quests on both sides. Whereas for us, literally every quest actually brings me back for safety. Whereas I actually want to go to the other side, but no. Quest wants me to stay back. Like, like they're all here. In the non-PVP zone. Well, our kids also end up being like kind of like half the maps weren't really used in the end, but still, it, the, the idea is there. Maybe they have too many maps. But right now, this is just all too peaceful. Let's go Mr. Pay to win. That's pretty funny. Pay, pay to win on a close beta. That must be Dante. On Dante's account. So what else do I have? I guess I can try 3v3. And then I can I guess can check out Mana Mech Factory tomorrow. At this time. Actually no, we'll be one hour before now. Okay, Mr. Spent 10k on BDO. Well, you know, I may have spent 10k on BDO, but I didn't spend 10k on the BDO closed beta. That's the difference between you and I. So, what can I say, man? Oh, 3v3 but 1v1 showdown, so like, what is what is that thing called? King of the Hill? No, that's not King of the Hill. It's like, King of something. But yeah, that's, that's an interesting game mode, for sure. But I feel like it might just not really be that interesting because unless the team is like perfect like evenly matched that even like if one team is slightly stronger then the one guy might just never get to play or like might just only get in at the end just to finish someone off so i feel like for most people it might not really be all that interesting wait this is supposed to be a 3v3 but i only have two people the fuck that's some stuff through me three right here. Oh, there's this as a person. All right, go drop your 10k, Dante. Let me see that 700 gear score. What's what's so what's the play here? Like, what, what what am I supposed to do? We do want to focus. I guess focus that guy. Since our team is already on him. I guess I can just finish him off. Alright. And then what? Get that guy? Oh, he's crowd controlling you. A lot of running around. 
it's just, I guess against this DPS here. And then just go for the CC, and just done. Face. Oh. I, feel like, I think my skills are being interrupted though. What is my gear score? I don't know. 221. Point sixty six. That elementalist did uh, 11, almost 12k damage. Damn, I did the least damage. That sucks. But it's not like I can do more damage though, you know? I have plus 7 everything I can. And uh, at this point, there's no no more gear I can get. I actually got a lot of honor points from that. I can now immediately unlock this one, this one, and this one. This gives me 80 honor points. But it's the honorary tokens that I want. But then this really becomes more of like the daily thing you farm. You know, you just want to farm until 200 of these every day, and that's it. Anything more, you don't really get rewarded for. So this is more of a daily then actual reward for performance we're still kind of kind of iffy on was it this actual good game design like just putting a daily limit on your pvp reward doesn't automatically make the game good for pvp or a pvp oriented game a pvp oriented game would probably like actually rewards you for doing well rather than just spamming out your daily quota Yeah, elementalists have some AoE skills, but I don't know if that was the reason he did so much more damage. Maybe it is. I guess we will see. What is this guy? It's so hard to tell what class they are until they actually start attacking. Like, who, who here is the Mystic right now? Is it good? Special effect is active. You can't use skills. You can't use this because you're too far. You can't use skills. Like, I don't really know who I want to target right now, to be honest. Yeah, like, I, I have no idea which guy was which. Even now I can't tell who's the element, who's the mystic. What do these symbols mean? I 
That's an elementalist? Do they even have a mystic? I can't even tell. But they have to, right? Because they're getting they're getting healed. Wait, that doesn't make sense. How are they healing with all the mystic? No, wait, they did have a mystic. But he died, and they were still getting killed. What? What the heck? What happened there? Because of accuracy. Oh, I don't think accuracy is the problem right now. So, I barely got any points there. But it doesn't look like I have a daily limit, though. Like, I can just keep spamming this until I get all 116, right? Like, for this one, there's a roof. I can only get three rewards every time. And then for these ones, I just spam them until 116 honor, all 116 on Medal of Honor are acquired and that's just the daily that's just the daily thing but you don't get anything from doing 1v1s so I've been wasting my time doing 1v1s really Wait, isn't this guy the top player? XEK? Yeah, this guy is the top player. I guess we have the best assassin on the team. An actual best assassin. You can't use this because it's too far. Just losing all my HP right now, what the heck? You can't use this because you're too far. You can't use this because you're too far. You can't use skills. Damn, what the heck? I just took so much damage from the DPS. Also, see, this guy is level 35, and he's surviving just fine, so I don't think level has anything to do with it, at least. He survived against two level 40s, and it's the level 38 that's dying, not the level 35. I'm just inting. I only did 2k damage. What the fuck? He did 7k. The other guy. What else is there that we can do? Where did the special PvP, the arena PvP? Oh, we have training. Oh, there's also, I guess, Faction Siege and Clan War? Wait, what? 
There's Faction Siege and Clan War? I have no idea what the fuck that is. You're doing Clan War right now? What the fuck is that? skills I'll do to a clown war What is a clown war though? Like how do you get into one? And what do you get from it? So I was in the realm war earlier and that was just scuffed. He's destroying the clan and that's it. Not enough battlefield participants. The battlefield will end. Aurora. Damn. I guess you're already good enough to be invited into clans. Congratulations. What is, but like what, are you fighting other clans right now? Or what's going on? Now what's the format? Is this just who gets the most kills or is there like an objectives? Yes, to finding other clans, I assume. What about objectives? Like, is it like Node War? Oh, you think there are objectives? Hmm. But I guess they're just going for kills right now, then. Why are they all immune right now? What the heck? GVG Oh, 
I died. Couldn't even kill that guy. And he killed back to full instantly? What the fuck? Going voice call? There's no one in voice call though. Uh, well, we just have one guy remaining. What the hell? The other team did 2k damage, 20k damage. Ah. So, GVG, like traditional BDO GVG, I guess? Just, uh, kill each other until they die and give up. Whoever gets the most kills. I said they're the winner. Some guy on World Chat wants to spend a hundred dollars a month to stay relevant. Honestly, that's pretty cheap compared to what I paid. They're playing Spellbreak Solos right now. Yeah, I might actually join you on Spellbreak. Because I think I've pretty much done all the PvP content I can at this point. Like, the only other thing I haven't been able to do is Faction Siege and Clan Wars, but I don't think I'll be able to do any of those. Whereas for everything else, I pretty much already done them. And as far as I can tell, these are all the PvP content. I don't think there's other PvP content anymore, maybe? And then there's also the PvP vs. E arena, which that I don't I think I can do tomorrow. We've just been getting wrecked. Kill the, I guess after this assassin. What the heck? Trying to kill him, maybe? Oh, fuck. I think that's why we're going overly aggressive. up already well there's just uh, well there's nothing else i can do now like i'm not aware of there being any other pvp content like are there other pvp content i think i think this is all the pvp content that's kind of like the whole point of doing the closed beta is to figure out what content there is in terms of pvp right or at least it is for me Getting a number one honor ring is kind of meaningless because it's going to be reset anyways. 
And mass PvP is just scuffed anyways, like... It's just a bunch of people spamming ranged attacks at each other. And eventually the team with more people push through. And then they all run back to mobs or towers. It's it's literally more boring than getting SA traded on BDO. Mass PvP in this game is more boring than RBF on BDO, to be fair. At least in RBF, you can't run into towers and mobs and let the mobs kill you. You know? Like, I don't know, if they, if they nerfed the mobs, maybe, it would be somewhat interesting. Because then at least... There's actual win or lose. Because uh, I was playing Brown War earlier and you can actually kill people because people can just run into mobs. So you can eventually chase them down. But RBF is enraging, which is worse than boring. Damn. But wouldn't you rather feel something than nothing at all? Wouldn't you rather feel pain than nothing at all? What the hell? I'm just dying to AoEs here. The 3v3 and 2v2, like, like all of the- anything other than 1v1 I feel has this heavy emphasis on AoE. And uh, range the damage. Like if you can AOE, it's just yours is yours is good. And if you have range, then you're safe at least, even if you're not doing AOEs. Okay, well. I think um I think I'll end the stream for today. And uh maybe do something else. Maybe tomorrow I'll figure I'll take a look at the mana mech factory and see if there's any other undiscovered PvP that I haven't seen yet. But that's gonna be it for the stream today then. So thanks for watching. Take care. See you tomorrow.